Hello, what's happening? What's up, NWC Tim, Orierth, Johnny Arco, Jinxkins, Blarbicus, Narama, Faunix, Fury, uh, Captain Flapjack, Sergeant Chief, Mr. Delbach. Hope we're all having an amazing and wonderful Tuesday. What's up, Angel9001, that awesome guy you know. What a good day. What's up, T Led Duke? Sin Dollar. What's up, Gray Demon? Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 17 consecutive months. Much love. Let's see if this is set up properly. I don't think so. Bunny Wild, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 27 consecutive months. Let's see if I can make this thing work or not. You know you want to. Chaotic Force, thank you for keeping it down for the past 40 months, sir. Dear God, let me reset up my windows here. Sorry, guys. I done goofed. 40, dear God, what a player. What a player. Why you do this, Mr. Alerts? Oh, yeah, because I have Chrome muted. <laughs> okay. That would make sense. There it is. What's up, Crater, Katie Ricari, Faunix, Zephin, Bunny Wild, Esquire. You're all the best. All right, so um, we're going to be going to uh, get some fox meat. This is going to be a pretty slow start here, but we'll get the day started off right. We're going to be making a bunch of pet food here. So we're going to run northwest to Heidel and skin some foxes. Oh, the Minxy one. A little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for the support. What's up, Hunter Gaben? Well, thank you for being here. Grabbin, excuse me. What's up, Mike Rosar? Horrific. Uh, I'm playing on high-end mode. I think I have textures on medium, but I think high-end mode uh, overrides that. I don't know. The game runs better for me on high-end mode for whatever reason. Cool, Ace. We have another uh, cooking episode coming up on the 15th. Extra pissed. Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the great two years. Much love. Uh, awesome guy, you know, I don't Reddit myself, so I honestly don't care. I'm not really interested in having a Reddit, to be perfectly honest. All right, so we're going to run over here. We're going to grab some gray wolves, I think. They should be over here somewhere. There they are. Gray fox, excuse me. Not even a gray wolf. Do, do, do. The pretty much the only uh, social media service I use is Twitter, and that's really not that much either. So you need six meat for every pet food cook that you do, which is pretty intense. Yeah, you were subscribed before, weren't you, Makes You Well, welcome back. What's up, Fur? Nice to see ya. We got our Ajarian set of armor off the cast uh, earlier. Got that enchanted a little bit. It gives me plus movement speed and plus cast speed. The plus uh, cast speed is pretty awesome. So, meat gathering is a pretty time-consuming process, but uh, it's good to do. It levels up your gathering, and then I can make pet food out of it, which is awesome. At my current gathering skill, we get one to two meat per, per hack, and I need uh, 114 to use up all the fish that I have. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, Minxie. Thanks for being here. Do, 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 do. Let me just say this, I have absolutely nothing against Reddit, but uh, I just have no interest in using it myself. So having a subreddit set up, I don't know. Appreciate the offer though, I do. So what have you guys been working on uh, in game? What is this uh, mark over here? Oh yeah, Cuckoo Bird Meat, which is another quest I have. If we have energy left over after doing this, if I get a lot of good RNG getting two drops on the meat, I can run over and get 20 Cuckoo Bird Meat for a skill level up in cooking. 
<laughs> really, is that all the foxes? Shenanigans. I'd be better off killing weasels right now. Shenanigans. Hey, it's a weasel. I can't skin weasels and foxes, though. It just doesn't work because then I'll have two different stacks of meat. There are foxes in Velia, too, but I really don't want to go over there. Kibbles and Bits, what a name, what a player. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper Kibbles and Bits. Appreciate the support, man. Much love. Much love. Okay, there's more foxes over here. Good. It's like some up on the hill, too, maybe? We're in a pretty exciting point for questing right now. I got 98 energy, 98 contribution. I get uh, some Black Spirit stuff done shortly after uh, getting 100. I got 100 energy and 100 contribution. I get a bunch of uh, gold ignits. And then I'm, uh, I think we're about to get our next uh, step in the Awakening quest for the Black Spirit. Dapper. It's nice. Nainanini, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 14 consecutive months. Much love. Hack it up, hack it out. So I need 114 meats, and then I also need 20 cuckoo bird meat. We'll see if my butcher's knife lasts that long. All right, nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair, awful. I am playing wizard, Johnny Arco. Doo -doo. How are you enjoying Ranger, uh, Alpha Monger? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, Chaotic Force, sure. I will say it slowed down a bit. I was able to get some good farm last night up in the ruins. Oh yeah, for sure, Kender. I'll be happy to show you Tettle Nebna's face. The man, the myth, the legend. Mostly legend. Let me get to a sunny area here so you can actually see Ted, huh? Ted L Nub Nub, number one L Nub Nub. North America, EU world. I spent a long time making this character. Uh, almost two hours. The wizard has a very uh, old-looking face, so I had to do a lot of uh, modification to make that look a bit younger. He is the happiest man on Earth because he knows he's better than everybody else. What a smug bastard. Keep it dapper. Getting exceptional drops on this gathering. It's really nice. Nuke Wave, uh, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 16 consecutive months. Much love. Do, do. God, I've been enjoying this game just so much. You guys have no idea. Just so much enjoying. Oh yeah, I remember that, Kinder. I remember that image. Do, do, do. Going good, riding rider rides. We're already at 30 meat. That's not too bad. It's so like we will more than likely have enough to go get our cuckoo bird meat too. Which will be good for an easy uh, skill up in cooking. I got a quest for... Actually, I don't think I took the quest. So here it is. So, uh, if you complete this quest, you'll get 50% of the XP needed to advance to the next cooking level based on a cooking level of 15. So I'll probably get about a little over a third of a level for doing that. Fallen Wings, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 25 consecutive months. Much love. <laughs> yeah, it kind of startled me too. I kind of forgot what it was like to uh, really want to play a game, like especially play a game and off the stream. I totally forgot what that was. incredibly amazing time sync. And honestly, I think it suits my style of commentary and reading chat really well. I've been uh, especially pleased with the the chat 
uh, while playing this game. The first couple days were a bit rough, and the reason for that is everybody watching were people that didn't own the game, so there's a lot of the uh, same questions and naysaying and stuff, but over the past week it's really uh, pulled together. Incredibly amazing time sync. And uh, honestly, I think it suits my style of commentary and reading chat really well. I've been uh, especially pleased with the, the chat uh, while playing this game. The first couple days were a bit rough, and the reason for that is everybody watching were people that didn't own the game, so there's a lot of the uh, same questions and naysaying and stuff. But over the past week, it's really uh, pulled together. Doo -doo. That's a good question. How far can you go out with a raft? That's a great question, Official Green. I'll probably, st I maybe will start building rafts and boats and stuff next week. We'll see. Yeah, you're not going to get away from pirates on a raft, that's for sure. Do, do, do. We're getting amazing pulls here. I think once we get to skilled gathering, let's see where we're at right now. We're at apprentice six. Once we get to skilled gathering, I think we'll be able to get three meats per uh, per harvest, and that will be incredibly useful for making pet food. Do, 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 do. Ha! <laughs> indeed, Jinx, indeed. On a good note, you can drink potions while, uh, while swimming. So with a couple of large potions, you could probably swim out to whatever island you wanted to. Taking a boat sounds more fun. Keep it Adolescence, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 26 consecutive months, sir. Thanks for the great two years and two months. Well, hey, ZMO, they need to be extinct. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we're over a third there. That's good. Let me recount my fish here and make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That can't be right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 times 6 is 1. God bless. I had this earlier. I didn't even use a calculator. Never do math on stream. That's the rule. 114. Correct. Yeah, for sure, Alice. He really enjoys hacking it up. Hacking it out. Uh, not necessarily, Link. So you cannot directly trade silver to another player. 114. I was thinking 144 too, for whatever reason. Sorry about that. So I've been focusing on cooking quite a bit, mostly because I've been making a lot of beer for my workers, but I'm finally ahead of the curve on making beer, so I can chill on that for a minute. Mythic 117, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper Mythic. Thanks so much for the support, sir. Greatly appreciated. What is it? Oh, it's a weasel. A weaselly weasel. Tell me there's more foxes over here. There's a fox. Do, do. What a player. Thank you, Mythic. Much appreciated. You guys are too damn kind. Every day I'm able to sit down and uh, share my experience with you. I'm very grateful to be able to do this full time. It means more than you know. Do, do. You can trade cook food and potions. Okay. Interesting. Speaking of food, I've been trying to eat as many omelets as possible to level up my health skill. I avoided doing that because I, I really had to make as much beer as I possibly could while I was leveling up cooking. 
It was basically the maximum amount of worker resource that I had. I had to make beer every chance I got. But now we're getting uh, up to four beers with a chance for cool draft beer on cooking, so it's going a lot better. And start spending energy on other things. But pet food's always a good make. Uh, the 40 Sadie uh, pet food is very efficient. Now that we're getting up to four per cook, uh, should be even more effective. Once we end up getting uh, artisan cook, be rolling in the dough with that stuff. All right, Ulysses. Well, thanks for stopping by, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you can definitely make money selling beer for sure. Doesn't sell for a lot, but it's enough. Like, a lot of people say to make milk tea and stuff, but milk tea is not, uh... It's pretty hard to get the ingredients for. It is a really nice buff, and it's guaranteed to sell, but... Uh, the resources to get it are a little bit... Time-consuming. As is this. Yeah, I think that's a great way to put it, Vito. You started playing this a few days ago. At first it was overwhelming, but the more you learn, the more compelling it becomes. I like the feeling of knowing that there's always going to be something else to learn in this game. It's very exciting knowing that you just don't know everything. I suppose it could, Lynx. You could make your own fairy business for sure. Uh, I do not believe there's a way for workers to make beer, but it's a very simple recipe, and the only thing you need is a grain, which your workers get for you. The only downside is you have to spend your energy. All right, fox meat. We're getting there. Blamo. Do do. Yeah, there's so many different ways to make money in this game. I think cooking is probably going to be my thing uh, to make money later on, or maybe making boats, but I haven't even made a raft yet. One day. Yep, and D-Gigabits, trading is highly profitable if you have enough contribution to connect nodes. You can just focus on not even doing workers and set up a giant trade route and just walk back and forth. Uh, we'll probably end up doing that eventually because we need to level up our strength. But that'll probably be a weekend activity for me. A reminder, there is server maintenance at 1 a.m. tonight, so we'll probably be switching over to pinball right about then. You can't sell rafts. Okay, I didn't know that, Creeper. Good to know. Learn something new every minute in this game. I really appreciate having a uh, chat available uh, streaming this game too, because it's a nice resource for answering questions, and I hope the conversations in the chat have facilitated your learning as well. Well, thank you for your service, Zorian. Much appreciated, sir. Enjoy being in the best shape of your life after basic training. Speaking of which, I can finally say that I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm not in great shape, but uh, been working out, been eating healthy, lost a bunch of weight. Actually starting to build up some strength. Feels good. Feels good. Well, still, thank you, Zorian. It is, it is a sacrifice to be in the military, so uh, I appreciate it, whether you're defending my country or not. Mm. Tea is so good. All right, we're already up to 75 meat. This is going faster than I thought it would, and we're getting uh, good gains here. We'll probably run over and grab those cuckoo birds, uh, cuckoo bird meat after we get our 114 wolf meat or fox meat. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do.
My dad said he hated basic training every last minute of it, but when he was done, he was in the best shape of his life, and that was pretty awesome. Minute Man, thank you for keeping it tapper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see, Creeper HC. The thing is, like, I have an immense amount of resources. I have not been doing much crafting or processing, but I have had 22 working workers working now for about two weeks nonstop. So I have, like, thousands of most uh, ingredients. I use OBS Studio, Vincent V. which is an amazing free source program that allows me to have a four capture card set up. What a beautiful, beautiful program. The guys over at OBS have done nothing but good things with their program. And OBS Studio came out just in time for me to get my new PC built and the uh, seamless pinball switch set up. Fishing boat takes 2,500 birch. Well, we'll be, we'll be getting birch soon. I think uh, I've got... Well, 2,500 birch if you process it yourself, or 2,500 birch if you just had the workers process the birch. What's up, an unruly fridge? Pretty good right now, Lazzy. We're doing, uh, I, I guess you could call this boring. I don't think it's boring. We're gathering uh, wolf meat right now to make pet food. We're also going to run over in kill some cuckoo birds and get their meat for a cooking quest nice minute man four part emotes are legit then we'll be heading uh heading over the northern wheat plantation finishing up the quest strings in there and then if we have time i'll head down to kleplin which is going to be my goal for tomorrow uh finishing off that and then we can head into calfian which will be great do do Nice, a one part and a four part. That's pretty cool. Uh, blackstone powder you can get from grinding crystals if you find them. That's an easy way to get it. It's also a chance to get a uh, chance to get those when you're mining, I believe. Well, it's going to be fish, fish, fox meat, and grain is going to make the, uh, the pet food. I grinded the flour before the show, but didn't quite make it to the butchering. Oh, don't, don't do this to me, RNG. We were having a good time. All right, we only need yeah, not that much more at all. The pet food feeds your pets. So your pet have a hunger uh, hunger thing, and when they loot or just out for a while, they lose their uh, ability to loot for you when they run out of food. Rough stone and refinery for black stone. Okay, thank you, Limros. That's right. I did that quest, but I forgot. I can't eat an omelet. Thank you. Trying to remember to eat. I wish I would have done this sooner, but to level your health up, you have to eat every chance you get. Made 90 or so omelets, and here we are. Do, do, do. Uh, I bought some inventory slots. I've also done quite a few of the inventory quests, Aardvark. But I certainly purchased some inventory space for my own convenience. What's up, Hunter Dark Green? Dark Green. I mean, that wasn't even a word that I said. Neat. All right, 104, we need 10 more foxy meat, and then we can go get some cuckoo bird meat, and then we're headed back to town. 
Sweet, we've already gained we gained a full level of uh, processing here. Let's see how much it is per uh, per go here. One percent per uh, per butcher. It's not great. Do do. Server population number estimate. Uh, last I heard, over two million people playing uh, Michael Blasey. Maybe more than that. The server has actually got more crowded after release, which is <laughs> impressive. Excuse me. Do -do. Like the uh, the Uno server was all uh, crowded, and the term after that is overrun. Like it was all just crowded in that server, and then uh, another day passed, and they all became overrun. Everything's overrun right now. Though the servers are handling the stress of it pretty well, I'd say. All right, four more meats. We'll see, Sergeant Chief. It'll certainly balance out over time for sure. People will move on to other things or want to play something else, and that's perfectly fine. I think the launch of this game. There's, I think there's always going to be a community for this game, which is great. Yeah, no server crashes, no login queue. It's beautiful. All right, 114 meats. Nice. Okay, now we need to go get cuckoo bird meat over here. Cuckoo birds are up in these hills. When I see any beehives over here, I should also uh, also do that. I need knowledge of the beehives. I don't believe there's any server transfers as is Vincent V. That might be happening in the future, though. That's weird. It looked like a chicken. I guess it is a bird, I guess. Hey, look at that. Knowledge, baby. Knowledge is power. Oh, thanks a lot, Awful. What's hitting me? Beetle? Get out of here, Beetle. You're not good. There's Beehive. Okay, we got the Cuckoo Bird nest knowledge. That's good. No Beehive here. Okay, where are these Cuckoo Birds at? Shame they don't sow his orange blips on my map, but so be it. You can butcher that bird from Timmy. That's just how good Ted is with a knife. That's all. That's all. Tiny bees are jerks. That's a fact of life, friend. This is definitely a tedious quest, but totes worth for the half-level cooking experience. Hey, Simplexity, good to see you again. Hope you've been well, man. This wraps up most of my miscellaneous quests. I have a few cooking quests still left, but I got the fried or the stir-fried seafood done um, before the show. I managed to catch a couple of jellyfish, which counted as a squid or seafood. Do, 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 do. All right, halfway there. This will leave us enough energy to cook our food, too, which is what I need. So this will be good. This will be real good. No problem, Aging Walrus. Thanks for being here. We certainly do have a guild going. We are uh, working on unlocking more spots. going to be a few uh, invites. Here's the info.
Well, Minute Man, I'm working on doing some cooking and stuff. I've leveled up cooking a lot because of the uh, the worker workforce that I have requires a lot of beer to keep fed. Oops, didn't mean to repeat there. So I kind of need to do that. So I've been forced to cook because of the route I went, as well as there's pet food and some other stuff that I need that takes cooking too, which led to me having a pretty decent cooking skill. No, Mr. Fredman, I did buy I did buy some uh, inventory slots, so I've probably gotten 20-ish through uh, through questing. All right, five more meat, five more. Do, 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 do. The Discord is like a uh, text and VoIP service that you can use that's not Twitch chat. Uh, you don't have to use voice to be on the Discord, but it's all inside your browser. You don't have to download an EXE or anything. You just load, you just sign up for the Discord, link your Twitch account, and you can sign in there anytime. There are a few sub-block channels for the, the vast majority of channels are open to everybody. You want to have more of a private conversation or start a uh, group for questing and whatnot, it's a good place to do it. Dapper. Amadeus, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 14 consecutive months, sir. Much love, dude. Much love. All right, so we just need one more cuckoo bird meat, then we can run back to Hydell. We can turn in the cuckoo bird meat for cooking experience, and we're going to cook 19 pet foods. Then we're going to go questing. You can get an app if you want, but you don't have to download anything to use Discord. But you certainly can. And no worries, Minxie. At least you got a good guild. That's important. <laughs> Indeed, Mr. Gecko. That certainly helps as well, without a doubt. Without a doubt. What's up, Dual Core Duron? Once a moose. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the great year of support, man. Much love to you. What's this quest? Oh yeah, not doing that right now. No, sir. What's, hap what's happening, Silver Moron? Do 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 do. Nice dapper. aging walrus. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the dapper aging walrus. Appreciate the support, man. Much love. So on the guild right now, we're working on getting all the slots unlocked. And then, of course, there will be some rotation after that. If somebody stops playing, we'll rotate in somebody that plays. We have, uh... I don't know where we're at for unlocks right now, but the first set of invites got us to 55 out of 100. Well, 55 out of 55. We've unlocked a few since then. Well, thank you, Aging Warlords. I appreciate the support, man. Much love, dude. What a life. All right, here's some cuckoo bird meat. Yeah, buddy. Okay, when you reach cooking level 20, apprentice 10, you can get your next advancement quest in the Black Spirit Guide. Okay. So I could get that right now. However... We're not worried about that right now. We got that done. That's good. That brought us up to, uh, yeah, this quest, but I'm not going to, uh, do it right now. My cooking level is quite high, two pages. We're, uh, skilled five. It goes just normal into apprentice into skilled, and there's ten levels of each. Okay, you get 90% of the experience needed to advance the next cooking level based on a cooking level of 20. I mean, I'm going to take this quest, but I'm not going to uh, do it right now. My cooking level is quite high, two pages. We're, uh, skilled five. It goes just normal into apprentice into skilled, and there's 10 levels of each. It could be higher if I would have cooked other stuff, but I cooked mostly beer to get my skill. And some omelets and some other stuff. Uh, I'm going to cook some pet food right now, which is actually quite good for uh, cooking skill. Resmundo, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the two consecutive months. Much love. Skill 
Solid straight drive can be nice, Degal, but I wouldn't say it's a necessity by any means. All right, cooking time. All right, so let's take a look at our recipes here. I can probably take off my lantern. Unless it's going to be super spoopy dark in here. That's eh, not too bad. All righty, so let's take a look at our good feed. The bottom recipe I have, or I thought it was. Good feed. So six meat, three mineral water, four grain, and a fish. I need to go buy some mineral water. I may have some in my storage. Probably do. Yeah, that's right, Spambo Jambo. All beer and omelets all the time for Ted. 100%. He's not a healthy fellow, but he is smug. Is Toots must stink? Yeah, all soulful. That's it. Keep it dapper. Lebanese notation. A little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the dapper. Thanks so much for the continued support, man. Much love to you. Much love. All right, let's see here. Mineral water time. We need, uh, was it three? Three per? Yeah, four grain, three mineral water. Do I have any in here? Maybe. No, I think I put all my water in Velia storage. We need 57 mineral water. I think we had war declared yesterday, Zorian, but nothing really came of it. Do 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 do. Okay, shop, mineral water, buy multiple, fifty-seven. Neat. Neat. What's up, Volpine? Over here. I always get a bit turned around in Heidel, but uh, we get there. Do, 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 do. Thanks, uh, NY Knife. Appreciate you being friendly and helpful. Always. All right, cooking utensil. We need six meats, four flour, three mineral water, and a little fishy. Continuous production of. Five here since we have five of that kind of fish. Yeah, you can get chicken eggs by uh, sending a worker to a chicken farm node. They will bring uh, they'll bring in eggs. I don't know if there's there's got to be a way to get eggs just by harvesting too, but um, that's how you AFK do it. After about a week of having a worker on the node, I had somewhere around 400 eggs. Come on, good feed. So we're making pet food right now, which is pretty darn important. It, it says my weight is 370. I just, I somehow just don't believe this. Like, I don't know, I've been, I added everything up and it does not seem like it should weigh that much. Who am I to complain, but damn. Okay, so we got those done. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put in six meats, four flour, three water,
and sardines. Oh, these are different. Boo! The only bummer about cooking peppers is you have to enter the ingredients each time. You can't just AFK the whole batch. Yeah, I have included a weight of equipment. If you hold on your inventory here, it says that my uh, weight of equipment is 89.1. Weight of inventory is 255, but that does not math out as far as I can tell. I guess we'll find out shortly. Probably lime juice, Mr. Gecko. That's probably what the missing flavor was. The way we used to do fajitas, uh, at one place I worked, is you'd marinate the chicken and, like, all the seasoning and stuff, and then you'd actually slice up lemons and limes inside the marinade. Fajitas actually need a fair bit of acid to, uh, pull everything together. Though tasty without it, for sure. Yeah, I am counting potions. But we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Alright, six meats... Four flour. Three water. And sand deal. So we can do five this time. So then 10 ore. This is a uh, ruins rock fragment. But yeah, that's 40 right there. Maybe it is right. Uh, Smoke and Drubies. I bought a weight limit increase for my own convenience. I like spending money on games that I can to support the developers. Also, it makes it a lot easier. I'm uh, infamous for having messy inventory, so <laughs> having that little extra weight and a little bit of room to play with is nice for me. What's happening, Dace? I actually think I'm going to stop using um, auto arrange in my inventory. I'm thinking about that. Nice job on that guild quest, guys. Killed it. Am I really awful? That's cool. Do. Okay, we're getting down to the skinny here. Six meats. Fish. Four flour. Three water. Do I have multiples of these? No, I have two of these and two of these and one of those. So let's cook it up. Do, 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 do. What's happening, Bruce Millis? Sub only for the moment, Clay Dog, until we get the initial invites out. Um, we'll be rotating people in and out uh, after that, well, when people stop playing, but for the moment it's sub only because I think we have we have enough to fill it with subs, so it's only fair. We'll see how it pans out, though. We did our first set of invites. Our guild's not even uh, maximum amount of people yet. It will be. Cook that good feed, sir. Cook it up good. This will be nice. We're getting ahead of the curve on feed as well. So we've gotten ahead of the curve on feed and ahead of the curve on beer. What ingredients do you need to make the exotic wine? Uh, I'll pull up my cooking tab here and show you, give you Zor. There's a quest in Velia where the guy makes you make one exotic herbal of wine for him. So let's see on the cooking utensil here. Uh, you make it with essence of liquor, I know that. Exotic herbal wine is... Three dough, one essence of liquor, two leavening agent, and five water, which honestly isn't too bad. You have to make the dough by hand. You have to also make the essence of liquor, which is one leavening agent, one flour, one fruit. It's not too shabby. We could do that quest right now, but it's pretty time consuming, so I'll probably do that one in my own time. Six meats. Four flour, three water, and two fishies. Did I miscount my fish? I must have. Well, Dern. Mm -hmm.
I mean, for $30, it's mean, the sure thing, in why, in my opinion. Like, this game does have very rewarding combat, but it has so much other stuff to do that's not combat. I think even with the best combat in the world, grinding gets stale eventually. This game has a lot of stuff to fill your time. I have found myself, uh, while I'm not playing, always thinking about what I want to do next in the game. This game is very, uh, very good at making you think uh, a few steps ahead and keeping you engaged with the game. Not just, okay, well today I have to wake up and I have to grind for eight hours to get two levels. It's like, okay, well I need to set up cooking, you know, pet food. I want to work on my cooking. I'm going to go gather today. I'm going to go find my class quests. I'm going to go find profession quests. I think the $30 pack is just fine. And while you're going to have to go find a horse, but that's kind of fun in this game too. Uh, going and taming your first horse. How did I overcount cornflour? Why is basic basic arithmetic so hard, guys? All right, three. We'll use this to make dough later. And yeah, you're gonna need to run around without a horse, anyways. Exactly what Ashley just said. Okay, and this fishy. Cook it up. Like I still, I really enjoy the combat in this game, but if you look at my character sheet here, combat's only been 6.3% of my playtime. The rest has been uh, working. Yeah, fair enough, Velda. I'm no good at calculus either. Math was always one of those subjects uh, that I was never very interested in. I definitely appreciate math, and I know everything is math, and uh, it's got a lot of great applications, but it just was not for me in school. I just never applied myself to it. And the end result now is I'm pretty bad at math, and that's fine. I'm, uh, I'm legit at breaking down recipes into halves, quarters, doubles, triples. You ask me to multiply, though? Who dog? I'll probably get it wrong. All right, sweet. Now we can uh, get on ready to go. I think we're going to go up and around the mountain, uh, go back towards other stuff. Okay, let's look at, it, look at our map here real quick and see where we're going to go today. Today, we're going to go up and around here. We're going to stop in Florin to turn in... We're going to stop in Florin to turn in uh, the rocks that I got. Then we're going to go do this quest, Where is Koi? Then we have a few Black Spirit quests over in this general vicinity. And then if we manage to finish all the quests over there up, we're going to head down to Pleplin. And then tomorrow's show, we should be heading into... Calpheon. Look at all those houses available, man. And then at the start of next week, I think I'm going to make Calpheon my home base. I'm going to set up my workers branching out from there. Pretty darn good. You know what? I should snag uh, this node manager, too. I might get an energy for that. Because I've met everybody else, I think. Before we go anywhere, I need to put stuff in the warehouse. How many of these dishes do I have now? Oh, over 200. Well, I can get contribution points at Alejandro Farm, and I can also get cooking experience. So, let's go turn those in. These are all byproducts of actually cooking, so anytime you receive these dishes, throw them in your storage or somewhere safe, because they are worth um they are worth a lot. It doesn't seem like much cooking XP, but it really is uh, when you turn them all in, and that's a lot of contribution points too. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. Uh, okay, oh, two of them. Anything else that needs to go in there? No. That needs to get trashed, so we'll go to the general goods vendor real quick. 
Wait, hold on. There's a uh, quest up the road here for thinning feathers, I believe. Let's go see if we can do that real quick. Do, 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 do. Where'd that quest go? Am I on the wrong side of the road? Now I'm confused. There was a feather quest over here. Maybe because it's nighttime, she's not there. Anything's possible. Okay, well, feathers don't weigh much, so I'm just going to leave those in my inventory for the moment. Yeah, you'll be fine, Velvin. You'll be fine. Little solder smoke never hurt anybody. All right. Well, darn it. Sell these curse fangs, sell the crack fangs. I'm gonna hold on to the feathers, we're gonna sell this cougar marine. I know it's good meat, but. Why can't I sell these? Hold on. Are these. Ah, uh, it's gonna be trade manager sell, isn't it? No, it says trade purchase price, none. Why won't you buy my stuff? Must have to go to a trade manager. So be it. You can take my fishing pole here. All right, let's go deposit some beers too. I still don't understand how I'm so weighed down, but this is okay. Trade manager on the amber, fair enough. Put these in there. I need these tomatoes for a quest too. Our tools are good to have. Okay, well I can put the flour in there as well. Neat, messy inventory is messy. Yeah, money does weigh you down, but money is not weighing me down right now. It's my, I think, all those rocks I have in the inventory. Nah, this stream GG. It's all good, man. We're not going to be micromanaging the guild that way very much. I mean, if somebody hasn't played in three weeks, yeah, we're probably going to put somebody else in the guild. But we're not going to be, like, constantly checking the status of people's subscriptions and stuff. Yeah, right now, money is only 5% of my total weight. Okay, we're going to head down to the trade manager here. Uh, I believe the weasel paw and the amber weigh quite a bit, so... Run down to the trade manager real quick, and then we will head up to Alejandro Farm to turn in our dishes, and then we'll be heading to the west coast to do northern wheat plantation, black spirit quests, and whatever else that game might throw at us there. And then Cleflin if we have time. There is maintenance on this game at 1 a.m. tonight. I honestly don't don't know for a game. I wish I could tell you. That's right, I'm made of money. There you go, awful. Totes. Totes. What do you want? Ghost from a pumpkin? Ah, gathering advancement. See, these are good, but I don't want to do that right now. Where's the trade manager at? I could have swore he was here. No? Keep it dapper. Oh, you are the trade manager. Hey. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just sell them all. Yeah, it's fine. Could be worse. Do 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 No bots in this game, me boy, because there's no player to player trading, so it kind of kills uh kills the bots. It's really a beautiful system they have set up, honestly. Okay, let's run over to this guy. I think this will give me plus one energy. I get a bunch of uh bunch of money at uh one hundred 
contribution and 100 energy. We're both at 98 right now. No, you're fine, Epo. Questing and crafting is totally valid. Do, 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 do. I think once we unload these uh, rocks at floor and for a bunch of silver, our weight will stabilize a bit. Play dog, I'd never be foolish enough to plan that far ahead in the future. Who knows what comes tomorrow, the next day, next week. But I'm really enjoying this game right now, and I definitely plan on continuing to play it. Thanks. Let's eat the stir-fried seafood. I don't think it's that big of a deal, Squirrely. It's not that hard to produce stuff in this game if you want to. The upside of not having player-to-player -player trading is much better than the downside of having it, in my opinion. Yeah, I haven't been over here at all. Yep, no manager Serendia topic has completed. We're now at 99 energy. Go to Alejandro. I think we'll probably get uh, one contribution point for all the food I'm about to turn in. Get these byproduct dishes from cooking, which allow you to uh, turn in at certain places for contribution, silver, XP, so on and so forth. Ha! <laughs> nice, this stream, GG. And of course, you can buy anything on the marketplace, which kind of works like trading, in a way. I mean, if you really wanted to trade a specific item to somebody, you could, you know, be in chat with them and say, Hey, I'm going to throw this up in the marketplace right now, and then uh, <laughs> hope they buy it first. Do -do. Hey, have a carrot, horsey. Yeah, indeed. A contribution byproduct is pretty darn good. We're doing pretty well in our cooking, but we still have a ways to go. Alright, so if you click on like one of these items, you can go NPC location, and it'll take you to the nearest one. There's a 30 minute delay when you put something on the marketplace and when it can be bought. I didn't know that, Tim. It's good to know. I had a hell of a time finding a Jerry and gloves, but we got there. Got my set bonus now. Good evening, Black Rabbi. The Silent Gamer 985. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. All right, so we're gonna stop here and turn in our goods. What's happening? Okay. If I do these all at once, is it gonna give it to me? It better. Oh yeah, I got me two contribution points. Oh baby. Nice. Wow, I got me three contribution points just for my excess there. Freaking amazing. Amazing. That is freaking beautiful. Oh! Another cooking quest. I mean, I gotta get all these cooking quests done at some point. Alright, we're not worried about that right now. Let's turn these in. What do you want? Parasitic bee's weakness? Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's find the NPC this way. Make it easy on myself, huh? What? Oh, exchange in Heidel. Well, okay, we'll head back and then we'll head north. Ma dang. You can make beer and get byproducts to exchange more beer. That's right. Beer does give byproducts, indeed. I can't believe that gave three contributions. This is beautiful, man. If we get one more contribution, we'll be able to uh, exchange 
20 contribution for the adventure seal for a weapon blackstone and an armor blackstone in Velia each day, which I think I'm going to do. Because those blackstones seem pretty important. Yeah, beerception indeed. Granted, it's probably like every 30 beers you cook, you get a free beer, but it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, it's 7 just for the Blackstone and 20 for the Blackstone, uh, for the Armor Blackstone, and then 20 for the Weapon and Armor. Was my understanding? And I have been unlucky finding, uh, Weapon Blackstone so far. Only at plus 4. I have 22 workers currently, Titus. Hey. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to exchange. Is it the villager instead? Oh, that's the beer guy. Okay, it's this one right here. Got it. The one with the light beam on it? 26. Yes. Not even enough to get a level there. That's okay. Eh, we're almost to skilled 6. Oh, 60 in Hydel from the Prince? I thought there was one for 7 that gave you an Armor Blackstone in Velia. I could be wrong, though. Maybe one day. Alright, we're going to head up to um, Lauren now. And I need to use the restroom real quick. This will not be an ad break by any means, but uh, thank you all for being here. We will return shortly. Be right back. All right, all right, all right. Apparently the armor one is 20 from the Igor Batali chief in Velia, Neo. I mean, my, my gear is not great. I'm not even plus five in my armor and only plus four on my weapon, but uh, what can you do? Honestly, having 60 free contribution for me is not gonna happen for quite some time. I got a lot of plans for my workers and whatnot. What you do, Tallywacka, is you use 20 contribution to get the armor stone, then you return the item right away. So you're not actually investing contribution for more than, like, 15 seconds. Introduce for everything you do in the game, Captain Walrus. So, like, if you process flour, you do cooking, uh, you gather from the world, 
uh, or anything related to your life skills will use up energy. And let me tell you, you can never have too much because there's always something to do. I think having 20 free contributions is pretty smart to get at least armor blackstones. Armor blackstones are worth a lot. Uh, Igor Batali, Neo Acratio, the uh, the chief of the town. Yep, leaving this area. We don't like that area. It's very noisy. God, that sunset is freaking or sunrise is beautiful, man. Yeah, you gain energy at the rate of one every three minutes. If you're resting in a bed, you get one every two minutes. Hey, have a carrot, horsey. Next time I get on my horse, I need to uh, make sure I feed it a carrot right away. Keep it dapper. Dash Rindar, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 14 consecutive months. Much love. Uh, Smoking Droobies, you rent the Adventurer's Seal from Igor Batali in Velia, and then you do something with that to get an Armor Blackstone each day. Uh, it's a repeatable quest for the for that, and then you hand it back to get your contribution points back. Oh, sorry, yeah, two per three minutes. That's right, Katie Ricari. My bad. I misspoke. I have no idea on Twitter quest locations, no. I wish I knew, but I don't. Oh, yeah, that's a farm quest. Yeah, I just found out about that yesterday, Spoken Drubies. I think it's a pretty, it's pretty smart tip. You think one armor blackstone per day doesn't seem like much, but then you add that up over a month, there's your plus 15 armor. Or, sorry, two months, really. Potentially plus 15 armor. Oh, and to answer your question, Neil, I went with the Ajarian set for the casting and movement speed. The extra casting speed is real nice. Hey, congratulations on your crystal ship unlock, Phoenix. That's awesome, dude. Beautiful. You know what? I'm going to get the frickin' hummingbird knowledge while we're here. It's been eluding me for three days now. Let's park our horse here. Actually, I can just replenish my horse's energy at the stable. Okay, let's go see where to turn in this. If you guys are looking for easy contribution, this town right here, Florin, is really amazing for contribution. There's also several very easy dailies that give great contribution as well. Okay, inventory, we're going to right-click these rocks, go to NPC location, and we're going to head up here and turn these in. Hey, look, it's my wife. Oh yeah, for sure, I could make use of the boots. So, Ajarian is... No, Ajarian shoes. I, could, I didn't find a... I don't think there's an Ajarian helmet. There may be. I'm not too worried about gear right now. We're just uh, making it happen. All right, what's happening? Yes. Cool. So that was a nice chunk of change. Got those from fighting in the ruins. All right, so here's an easy daily. Brewing herbs. This gives, also gives a health experience, which is very nice. Three energy recovery, 80 contribution, just for stepping on this thing five times. Super easy. Fair enough, my stamina I'm pretty happy with right now, Neo. Probably, uh, probably start deciding what I want closer to max level. I just wanted to get some actual gear that had bonuses that wasn't just the Black Spirit stuff. So that's easy 80 contribution right there. Alright, then talk to this guy. Quest, pick weeds with a pig. This this quest was incredibly confusing, but 120 contribution uh, for doing this, and it's very easy. In fact, if you're quick at this, you can actually... Uh, and get enough weeds for a second turn in the next day. 
Okay, so that gives you a pig whistle in your inventory. Somewhere. What? What? Pig flute. You give me the pig flute now? There it is. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where I did it last time. I think it was just in this little area. Last time, uh, you can also get the the weeds in this area as well. So if you want to drop the pig in here, he'll still give you the weeds. In fact, this is where I did it last time, and it was quite effective. See? So the pig will disappear here shortly, so we're just going to run back to the guy and turn in. You only need three. Ooh, that lag spike, though. There you go. Easy, uh, easy contribution, easy life. Okay. Um, and then we got a daily for the kite. This one's super easy, too. We've gotten 200 contributions so far. This one's worth 80, so this will be 280. Just had to climb up the mountain here a little bit. Really easy to grab. Huh, how did I get there last time? Yeah, I guess we just go up the side of the mountain. I think there's got to be an easier way to get up there. There must. Oof. Game's chunky in this area. Hey, what's happening, Lost Kites? Ziglay, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. I'm in Pacific Standard Time, Emperor Sidious. Alright, so that's 280 so far, and then there's one more daily here, which is also quite easy, and it lines up with me wanting to get Hummingbird Knowledge. This is a very confusing quest, though. You have to talk to this chick. Okay, there's raccoons, neat, right? And then, you have to talk to the sister to get the basket of fruit. This is not really explained in the, uh, in the quest. I have no idea on that one, Neo. I will need to learn that shortly. It is for right now, Hanksy, at least until we get the initial set of all invites out, and then we'll, uh, maybe adjust it from there. But the, the guild is currently sub-only. So you grab the fruit, and then you grab the raccoon, and then you turn it back in. We're still working on unlocking all the slots. Okay, there we go. We tamed a raccoon. But as some people become inactive and stuff, we'll definitely have room to cycle people out. So I imagine that may change in the future. We'll see. Hundred and twenty. Okay, so that gave us four hundred contribution. Yeah, 400 contribution for doing four quests that took about five minutes. Big money, no whammies. All right, now we're going to head... Actually, we should do this, uh, this cave quest real quick while we're here. Why not? You betcha. Oh, yeah, I got Black Spirit quest turned in, too. Hmm. 
I have crafty fox. One million silver coins. What do you use contribution points for? Great question. Let's talk about contribution points real quick. Contribution points can be used to rent equipment from some people as well as farming. But the, re the main thing I use uh, contribution points for is connecting nodes. So you'll see these nodes that are in yellow. That means we've connected and co invested our contribution in these nodes. By connecting cities and nodes together, yeah, you can uh, invest into farms to have workers working there. Uh, you can also... What the hell? Go for it. This will also allow you to do trade routes, and if you connect trade managers, which are usually in cities, you can sell stuff for higher prices at nodes that are connected together. So I'd say that's the main use for contribution. Contribution is also used for... Uh, buying houses so you buy houses with contribution points you get uh housing for your workers you can uh, invest in farms and invest in nodes uh oh wait hold on we got a quest here what am i doing in my life before we do this quest, though, I'm going to go kill some hummingbirds. I have been just dying to kill some hummingbirds and get the knowledge on them. The knowledge on these hummingbirds has been super elusive. I've probably killed 100 hummingbirds and no go. Yeah, contribution XP is what raises your total contribution points. Or the max you can have. You don't have to connect it. It's guaranteed lost money unless you're producing the trade good yourself. Okay, good to know, NWC. I wouldn't even say they're comparable, uh, Crafty Fox, but I can't tell you too much about the PvP in this game. I actually know very little about EVE. The main form of PvP in this game is Guild Wars. Uh, your guild can take over a node, and then you build a fortress next to the node, and then you have to defend that fortress to contain your node. For owning the node, you gain taxes in that area, which makes your guild money. Mm -hmm. Maybe I did get the knowledge. It's definitely possible. That's right, Offelmeyer, because Pressure Luck is the best game show ever. Big money, no whammies. When did I get Hummingbird Knowledge, though? Explain yourself, game. No, we don't have a fortress yet. Our guild's not even full yet. Nor are many people in our guild actually level 45. Gain knowledge different in the amounts of the type of creature? Not usually, but if you're a higher level than a creature, you'll have a higher chance of gaining the knowledge for sure. Well, let's see if I can get an actual pull going here. I'm going to guess this leads to a class quest of some sort. So that was my Black Spirit Rage Spender. Yes, you did. I saw you on the road, too. All right, let's load up our pet menu here. Pull Winston, Wanston, and Wiggity out. We'll also feed them a bit. Yeah, it's kind of just luck on the uh, luck on the kill, indeed, Zaphon. But most everything has knowledge attached to it. Well, this isn't a bad farm area if it's empty. The big old if, though, huh?
It's an interesting technique. Not very effective, but interesting. They were trying to invite me to a party to uh, stop me from pulling and stuff. I'm just here for the quest, to be honest. Or maybe they were trying to avoid me to the party to get XP with them. I don't know. I'm just here for the quest, guys. Do do. Okay. I am Koi. I'm secretly learning alchemy in here. Should never tell us to the chief. I'm only apprentice of Kafras. Hee hee. In search of Kafras journal. Okay. The original residence of this cave was Kafras. Does she find the journal he left? Sure. Alchemy for Filiants. Something's killing him. Okay, I make medicine. I am the best alchemist. You're an alchemy too. My instincts tell me that you know how to make an elixir. I do not. Meet Koi's friends inside the cave. Four people and ask for materials. Put all the alchemy materials in the alchemy tool and make sinner's blood. Okay. Clear liquid regent. Bloody tree knot, no problem. What, do they, they want me to give them a bloody tree knot? No, shut up. This is not happening right now. Okay, um... We're not gonna do this portion of the quest right now for sure. I mean, I think I have a bloody tree knot somewhere, but, uh... We're gonna drop this quest knowing it's there for later. We should go find Kafras' journal, which is probably just going to be an NPC drop, I'd imagine. Can't climb that ladder, okay. There we go. Examine closely for 10 energy, sure. The other one's an alchemy quest, which isn't really necessary for me right now. No, I don't recognize what it meant. What did it mean? Tell me. Okay, and we're out. And we're off. Am I going deeper now, or is that where we came from? Okay, we're good. We're good. You can get caught in the cash up. You can also craft quite a few costumes, but the uh, ingredients are interesting to get. All right, two minutes so we can eat foods again. It's beautiful. This seems like an okay grind area, but honestly, there's not. Uh, I think there's enough in here to make it worth it. Unless you want to buy one, yes, Peter Hoying. Okay, I don't have Calfee and Beetle knowledge, but those are all over the place. We'll get there. At okay, one more energy, I think I get an additional uh, one million silver. Oh yeah, okay, we do have we do have the knowledge. Though. That's good. One day. All right, now we need to figure out where we're going to go next. I think we're going to head down to the Northern Wheat Plantation and finish off those sets of quests. 
I have not yet furricane. I certainly will do the conversation mini games later, but right now I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to get the world discovered and get a like a working base set up. But the conversation mini game is definitely something I'm very interested in doing. Uh, it's a good way to gain knowledge and get some special quests and buffs. Um, so I certainly will be participating in that. Just not right now. If you try to do everything at once in this game, you're gonna end up being overwhelmed real quick. Yes, there is, Peter Wang. Okay, so if you, uh, if you're standing still and you summon your black spirit, uh, it's right on the table in front of her, uh, Brixie. You click guide. This is how you get all of your knowledge and, uh, quests for leveling up your different crafting things. But I believe costumes are made in a costume workshop, uh, via workers. Yeah, for sure, Tallywacka. I mean, I think we'll finish up, like, running the circuit, finishing most of the quests, and then we'll go through and find all the people we can get extra quests from. Which you can look at just right in the, uh, knowledge tab. And go hunt them down. Alright, it's the Thief in the Night quest, so I just can't do that right now. Oh my, amazing, the great adventurer Tucked will weep. Um, no, there wasn't. Oh, baby. Nice. Waragon nature. They are all logical. First of all, they are omnivores. Baby Waragon, I'm raising, eats whatever he's fed. Corn, rye, even meat. But as environments change, he's low in spirit except when he eats. Um, okay, that's fine. Persuade Mrs. Light. Oh. Guy's a wear gun lover. All right, then. Talk to Zaviel. So any quest that has that exclamation part next to it means it's going to lead to getting knowledge. Knowledge is what increases your energy. Now, there's a huge, absolutely massive knowledge tab uh, here in the game that has all of the knowledge you can get. You can see I'm not even halfway on Serendia, which is an area I've mostly cleared. That goes right down to your life skills and everything else, but as you complete a certain tab, uh, you'll get more energy for gaining that knowledge. Okay, let's go talk to Mrs. Light. You're not going to tell me about Malik's Waragon. I am. Okay, so she just straight up said no to that. Neat. That was like the easiest contribution of my little life. The list is truly massive. It's just... pretty nuts. Okay, who wants the... Who wants these tomatoes? Okay. This has to be it, though. Because I have the tomatoes. Well, let's go do this, then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, Mr. Peppermint. Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, hey, I got 20 contribution now, so we can go uh, get the armor blackstone at some point today. Hey, it's a quest. What's happening? Get into the cave. I can do that. You know, before we go look around, I really should head to the north and uh, see if there's more quests for Waragons up there. At the Xavier guy. He did give me a quest to go talk to him, so I think it's only fair that we go up here and do that. Mm -hmm. 
hold on, what's this orange uh, marker here? Okay, whatever. Oh, it was just a little uh, blip on the map. I see. I see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, fair enough, Legion. It's easy to fall behind leveling. I'm definitely behind leveling too, but I ain't too concerned about that. I'm gonna tear up this Waragon. Whoa, bud. Must be the unluckiest person in this world. God must have completely abandoned. Well, Jesus, dude. Calm down, son. Grasping at straws. Damn, Waragons are overqualified to look at the, out for the storage, okay? Would you please go and check my will? Or mill, excuse me. Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it really is its own unique entity, the Legion of Mad Fellows. It's kind of the beauty of it. Okay, let's investigate the destroyed mill. There should be an entrance to the Waragon Cave. So yeah, okay, now we're headed down. We got. I'm glad I went up here and did that because we had the wrong quest. Let's see what says. What does Thomas Farrell want? Oh, Plantation Wheat Cart. I have no interest in doing Wheat Cart stuff. The Programmer 22. Thank you for keeping it dapper for the past 13 months, sir. Much love to you. Yep, indeed, Kills and Bits. Uh, quest, questing's treated a little bit differently in this game. You mostly receive... Uh, you mostly receive... Contribution XP for doing quest or knowledge, not so much XP. So if you're going back to do quests, yes, the monsters will be easy, but the tangible gain that you get is more contribution for your efforts, which is nice. I have this sinking feeling that I should go talk to that guy again before heading down. But I have other quests to turn into, so let's just go investigate here. What's the quest turning over here? Need to interact with these guys? Hey, more quests down here. Awesome. I like this. Oh, there's bats down here. Boo! 10,000 plus, Halliday. What do you got for a quest, villager? Okay. Okay, no follow-up quest, that's fine. What do you got? So many people to rescue, Ord Lord Elian. Finding medicine, okay. Get the medicine, no problems. Do, 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 do. Look at this guy, watch swinging that sword, man, you could hurt somebody. What are you swinging at, man? This guy's crazy. Tiny earthquake, where guns, how awful is that? 
Just do the human thing and make them extinct. It's no big deal. It's no bigs. Escape from the Waragon Cave. Yeah, okay. I have to go rescue them. Ugh, I can't go rescue them right away. If you can get inside the cave, will you take a look? Yeah, sure, man. No problem. Yeah, these guys have been underground way too long. Agreed. What's this blip on the mark? Or on the map? Let's see. Do do. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes since we started the show. I'm going to take my first break of the night right here. I'd like to say sincere thank you to everybody that does allow ads to play on my channel. If you do not, though, I still very much appreciate your time here. We'll be back in approximately three minutes. If you'd like to support my content further, please do bookmark the Amazon affiliate link. It's one of the easiest ways to support the content. All you have to do is bookmark that, lethalfry.com, slash alingstudyhtm, use as your interest to Amazon. Everything will look, work, and cost exactly the same. You just get to support the content with your purchases. If you're wondering exactly how that works, there's how the fees are broken down. Appreciate your support. We'll be back soon.
Oh, yeah. Thanks for your patience, guys. Really appreciate that. Always nice to stand up and take a little break. All right. Well, let's... Uh, okay, we can't go... Can we go this way into the cave? Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. No, there's bats. There's bats everywhere. And why do I have a Black Spirit quest right now? Uh, Anno Karazza is attached to certain skills that you'll use, like my Lightning Storm is my Black Spirit Rage Spender. Oh yeah. Don't forget, you're not strong enough yet. First, let's move to the Power Cards and get some information. Oh. Really? Okay, well I have to go back up now, if I can. Can I get up from here? That's a bummer, man. What are you doing, Ted? Ted, what are you doing? This is how a real man rock climbs. Stand up, Ted. What? I don't even know what I hit to go prone. What did I hit? Ted. Ted, please. What, what, did, what did I do to lay down? I don't know how you go prone in this game. Q? It's not Q. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Look at that face, though. He's just creeping on this guy. Guy looks spoopy. Let's creep him out. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. We got there. It's a bummer that Black Spear Quest is going to send me back out to find the source of the power. They're just going to send us back down, but there's no point in doing all these other quests before doing the Black Spirit Quest. Whoa, Ted. Okay, let's look at this Black Spirit quest. No, I don't want to get the wounded villager. What? Okay, let's look at our quest log here. Let's do it this way, a little bit easier. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at this Black Spirit quest. No, I don't want to get the wounded villager. What? Okay, let's look at our quest log here. Let's do it this way, a little bit easier. Uh, breeding pets is disabled in the NA version currently. Dispersion, I believe. Keep it dapper. Maverick X29, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 34 consecutive months. Much love, sir. Two away from that subscriber hall of fame. Appreciate it. Alright, what's next, Black Spirit? Okay, uh, desirable claws. Okay, cool. Oh, Ted. What's up, Banther? Good to see you again, sir. Keep it. Damper. Risk it for the biscuit. Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. All right, let's go this way, unless this is another entrance. Frickin' bats, man. At least we have chain lightning for the bats. Hey! We gained knowledge. It's beautiful. Wait, I can gain fluid from a bat? That's, uh, that's neat. It's neat.
Well, I don't see an HP bar on this, but let's see if we can kill it, right? Okay, it doesn't work. There's a Waragon. Oh, that's not what I was expecting Waragons to look like. I was expecting like a werewolf looking thing. Explosive Waragon, hell no. No Banelings here, please. Bats. I think I was supposed to go the other way, but that's fine. How many hours in? Let's uh, let's figure this out. Let's say I played for seven hours a day since the game release. That would get... It's technically the first for me, so we'll say... Wait, no, it released on the 28th. Not including idle time, about 91 hours, I would say. Yeah, the profile, the profile is not correct, though, because this includes your AFK time. Actual gameplay hours, about, about 90. Hey, okay. I get it, they come out of the, they come out of there, interesting. Most interesting. Well, I mean, this isn't showing where the quest blip is, but it should technically be right. Yeah, casting speed on fireball is so much better. Oh yeah, this reminds me I need to go to settings, uh, screen, camera effects. We're going to turn these down to about 50 because the fireball shaking animation is pretty stupid. Oh, it's still not great, but it's better, I guess. Just all eggs over here? Hey, what's up, baby Waragon? Nice, getting knowledge, baby, I like it. Whoa, what was that? Creepy finger coming out of the ground, gross. Oh, it's a baby, I got it, I got it. That was disgusting, though. One of my PC specs, uh, if you do exclaim parts in the chat, it'll bring it up, but uh, my PC is, well, only good if you're doing an intense amount of video encoding. Otherwise, not a PC anybody should be using. What a rip. All right, let's see here. That's it? Okay, then. Oh, we still have quests in here, apparently. Couldn't tell you what, though. What do I gather from a baby? Oh, I see. Skins. I still, I can't help but feel I went the wrong way here. Unless this is a giant circle, which is also possible. Ooh, callous ring, nice. Hey. What? Okay, what do I have left to do down here? I gotta find the wounded villager. So kill baby Waragon's fine. Okay, we're gonna head the other way, I guess. Oh, hey, medicine baby. That's all I needed, one of those. Let's see if it is a big circle. It very well could be. 
Just need one baby Waragon. I'm the bum. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love to you, man. Much love. Oh, I need to gain knowledge on Waragon's right. That's weird. How did I get so turned around? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I have three pets. I got one from my Conqueror's Pack pre-order, and I purchased two more. Bronlock. I'm honestly not sure if having three pets is good early on. Uh, it creates a lot of uh, resource management issues, having to make so much pet food. Hey, villager, what's happening? Okay. Don't worry, lady, you're fine. It's cool. Embrace the lightning. All right, come on. Come on. Wow. Yeah, I know you're spoopy and stuff, but like really this is not not that scary, lady. Get pull it together. Pull it together, lady. Hey, enjoy your lurk, Honda Bomb. Appreciate you being here, man. Oh, no wonder you got stranded down here. You got, like, what do you have, like, a negative five walking stat? Dear God. Come on. Come on. You're killing me, lady. Here, let me show you how fast you're walking, lady. You ready? Slappy the ninja, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate it. This is you right now, lady. This is you. you ready? Yeah, that's how fast you move. Look at me, I'm a slug. I'm banana slug. Fine. Bats ruining my fun. Awesome, Lady Kara. Really glad to hear that. I've been enjoying the heck out of this game, too. This stream, GG. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Crawling animation's so legit. You can do it, lady. I'm a slug. What is this guy doing? Who is this strange man? Ted Slug L Nub Nub. The man, the myth, the legend. Mostly legend. Okay, get the wounded villager. Where does this turn in? Really, I gotta climb all the way up there? Boo! Alright, you able to do this, lady? Because I'm not so convinced you can. Who is this strange man? Where is he taking me? What's happening here? Oh, I shouldn't have put super glue on my hands. I thought it'd make me grip better. I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry. I'll be back with a solvent. I promise. I'm not coming back. It says super grip. I thought that would help me out here. Apparently not. Ooh. K. 
get the slowest escort quest of life. Hold on a gosh darn minute. Tell me the turn-in's not down there. Hey, what are you doing, lady? Get the wounded villager. Oh, God, it's the soldier. Damn it. All right, slow lady. All right. Come on, lady. I think it's supposed to be a uh, collapse, like a mill collapse. Oh, thank God you bring that solvent. Nope, sure didn't. I'm Ted Smug El Nub Nub. I have no reason to help you. Help yourself. It's just it's so sticky. Tough toenails, friend. What? Okay, I gotta go back close to this guy. Should have never trusted a smug man. It's okay, she just needed some leg day. It's no big deal. Alright, lady, you ready? Let's slug over to the quest objective. We got this, right? Gotta lay on the ground. Scoot real slow. Like a professional slug. Come on, lady. You're killing me right now. You're killing me right now. I brought the villager. I'm amazing adventurer. Damn, she was slow. No wonder you didn't want to go get her. No wonder. Okay, what's left here? What do you want? Okay, should I kill baby Waragon and then I need to gain knowledge on Waragons as well. Fair enough. Actually, I'm going to go the other way. Get away from these bats. There's probably bats this way too. Whatever. Come on, Waragon. No, I think they've just been underground for too long, and they're very poor at their jobs, would be my guess. Dear sweet god, where are these guys? This area is a nightmare. Keep it dapper. Alazian, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the ten consecutive months. Much love to you. Cool subtlety, you're enjoying Warrior, that's awesome. Hey, baby Waragon, get Wreckaroni Pizza. Alright, all we gotta do now is kill normal Waragons, I believe. Gain knowledge, if I can find some. You'd think they come out and defend their eggs, but apparently not. For new players, it can be a little bit overwhelming, Alazen, but uh, honestly, I think for a uh, introductory experience, it's pretty damn good. It's like a... It, for a new player, it's going to be like a really intense, awesome uh, RPG. What it boils down to, more or less. Alright, there's the stupid villager. Where are all the Waragons now? They were attacking me like crazy before. That'd be a good way to put it. Curve's pretty steep, but uh, easy to get started for sure. That's a great assessment. Um, you think I'd die if I got on there? I think so. Whoa, whoa. Lady, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just curious how you even got up there. Do you need some help, lady? Too bad. I'm out of here. Not quite that intense, uh, Alazen. You'll be able to choose what you want to do. 
You're not you're not forced to do a lot of stuff you don't want to. She's part bat. Nice. Random 2007. Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the nine consecutive months. Much love. There's a knowledge thing down there. Are you pulling my chain? I wouldn't blame you if you were. I mean, I'm not dropping down any further. We die if we drop down here. Maybe a different side cropping in the same cave. Oh my god, am I stuck down here? This is okay. We can do escape. Oh, savage. That's okay, we just gotta go back down. Better than jumping off the cliff. Hey, we can turn in this quest now too, and the other quest, and see if they give us follow-ups. Oh, you can swim out? Okay. Cool. Well, maybe I'll go do that, because I think that'd be helpful. Where the hell am I going right now? Ow! Get out of here, farm boar. Think you're good? Oh, yeah, new guildy is coming in. Praise the sun, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Somehow perfect. Can I also get that Waragon egg? Something may come out. I can't let Malak have it all to himself. Oh, he wants to raise one himself. Okay, well this will be easy. We can grab an egg while we're back down there. So we did get a follow-up quest. Good. So... Oh, those quest markers are underground. Got it. We're going to go back into the, the main area here. We're going to turn in the quest that we had, or have done. Uh, and then we're going to head back down. There's also, apparently... That's the question mark, isn't it? Uh, in that little pool. That has to be the question mark for the uh, the Weiragon Cave. Gotta be. There's a question mark above town that's been driving me absolutely batty. So we'll uh, we'll go down there after our quest is done. Where is this guy to turn in? Probably turn off my lantern too, huh? That's a weird pathing. Why would I do that? Do do. Uh, death has a chance of breaking the crystals inside of your armor and uh, overall durability loss. Okay, cool. We still haven't gained knowledge on Waragons, unfortunately. Okay, well, there's those two. So we're going to head back to that area that we were. Uh, then we're going to go swimming in that pool, I think, because it seems legit. How am I supposed to get a Waragon egg myself? It's probably just going to happen. Get fresh Waragon eggs. Okay, maybe I just walk up to the egg stack and hit it, or I can just kill them and it'll give it to me automatically. It'd be Keep it probably down. more likely. Come on, gain knowledge, man.
Leon, Leon, uh, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 28 consecutive months. And Random 2007, thank you for the nine consecutive months. Much love, both of you. Beautiful. The respawns here seem to be pretty, uh, pretty light. There we go. I'm going to work my way towards that question mark. And we'll try diving in that pool later. Nice. Lots of wearer guns. Dear God. Hi. 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 I'm just going to step up to you. How you doing? Ask about the resurrection of Belmont. You have come where you should not be, human. Give me one good... Hey! Hey! that tickle you, monster? Sorry. Give me one good reason I should let you live. Belmore and that filthy darkness has risen again. This explains this. The energy has leaked all the way down here. Hear me well, mortal. I serve Karska, the lord of corruption. At his command, all creatures of your world can be wiped out in an instant. Neat. It was Karska's mercy that gave Belmore a second chance, but he was not obedient. That's why I despise him so much. If you seek a way to destroy Belmore, you have to trust... One, you do not trust all. Karska can open the path to ridding the land of Belmorn. I Cool story, uh, mystery creature. Okay, so I'm guessing we dro this is where the other area was that we had dropped down and swim through here. Seems legit. Enchantment? I need Waragons and Waragon eggs here. My goodness. The eggs must just come from kill quests. It has to be. Bats. Good night, Subtlety. Have a great one, sir. All right. Uh gotta be this and why do i have a black spirit quest again no, i bet uh okay we found the source of darkness so he's gonna have a follow-up uh quest to that beautiful how about you give me knowledge on waragons dear god why do i love cats so much because cats are the best obviously the best of the best of the best i've always loved cats always is gonna have a follow-up uh quest to that beautiful how about you give me knowledge on Waragons, dear God. Why do I love cats so much? Because cats are the best, obviously. The best of the best of the best. I've always loved cats. Always, always. All right, what do you got, Black Spirit Quest? World of Knowledge 2. Okay. Oh, nice. That was my 100, uh, 100 energy. Nice. World of Knowledge 3. Fair enough. Guess we'll just keep rolling the circle here until we get what we need, which is Waragon Knowledge. What's happening, apartment gamer? Hope you're having a good one, sir. On a good note, they probably want me to gain knowledge on other Waragons after this, so by doing this quest and having got knowledge of everything else, we should get the next turn in for free, would be my guess. Most, uh, most quests like this work that way. Honestly, Ben Willie, I don't know. I'm going to work on rearranging my workers now. I got them all set up in the starting areas, which has been beneficial for leveling cooking. Yeah, I think he's about to get a another level up here pretty soon, Nightingale. We're starting to get a pretty intense amount of... Uh, pretty intense amount of mats and stuff. Let's try going down. Come on, Waragon. How many of these do I have to kill to get knowledge? Too many. That's how many. 
Knowledge can be somewhat troublesome in this game, but there it goes. We got it. Yes, I am aware you can't move workers, and that's perfect knowledge. Too many, that's how many. Knowledge can be somewhat troublesome in this game, but there it goes. We got it. Yes, I am aware you can't move workers, and that's perfectly okay. Uh, I have enough alts with high enough energy now that I can farm out the workers I want. Also, when I do set up in Calfian, I'm probably going to get very high amenity with um, the work vendor to get some artists and workers. I've got a plan. We do have a guild at Baffled TV. It's currently full for capacity, and we're uh, keeping the invites to subs currently because uh, we have enough interest to fill it so far. Where are we at right now in the guild? 65 out of mysterious creature as well. So that mysterious creature is uh, very important. Okay, there's Calfion worms down here. I'm really hoping there's Calfion worms in other areas as well. But as soon as we unlock slots, we're doing invites every uh, every so often. All right, can we get out of the cave from here? Yeah, I think the dream Rob 64 is to get Heidel to Calfion. Uh, yeah, get Heidel to Calfion connected would be the real dream. That require a lot of contribution. I'm going to work on resetting everything back up uh, at the start of next week's broadcast. Hey, what do you want, Furbus? Can you guide me to the owner of the plantation? Sure thing, bud. This works out good, because that's where we're going anyways. This is basically free contribution. The owner of the plantation? Sure thing, bud. This works out good, because that's where we're going anyways. This is basically free contribution. It is indeed, Grant Higgs. It is indeed. Okay, so we're going to head over uh, here. I'm going to crawl, because this is, makes it go... Uh, Come on, bud. Oh, I gotta talk to him first, right? Hey. How fast is this guy? Can he keep up with me sprinting? He can. What a champion. What a good escort. What a champion of the people. Uh, yeah, Bron Lockett, we currently have, I believe, plus two movement speed? No, plus one movement speed. Also, leveling breath uh, makes your character run faster. We're currently at 21 out of 30. Yes, all three of the pets loot, but each time they do, they lose a little bit of satiety. Means I have to boost them back up with pet food. I'm still unsure if having three pets is smart. Whoa! 700 rough stone. That's a lot. All right, so we'll turn in this escort quest and then we'll uh, go from there. Hey, I brought this little dude with herbs. Dude, it's happening. Thanks. 120 contribution and three energy. That's easy money, easy life. All right, what do you got? That can't be true. Waragon that huge? That's shocking. You aren't lying? This adorable Waragon. Oh, my Waragon. That's right. You have a monster, sir. A monster. What a monster. 
Okay, where is this quest turn in? Calfian, maybe? No, that's not where the turn in is. Who is Griffin? I guess we'll find out later. Let's go talk to this guy, then we can head down to the uh, abandoned farm, which is somewhere in this area. Maybe over here. Abandoned land. There it is. Go talk to these guys. Okay, so we're going to turn in here, uh, make sure there's nothing left here. Then we're going to head over to this area. Then we're going to head over to the abandoned land, which is actually a decent farming area, but is generally pretty crowded. To my knowledge, Eden is the most uh, populated server, yes, Capri. Uh, Pixel, you can have a maximum of three pets out, and yes, they all will loot for you. Um, given the chance. What? Take that. All right, what's happening, partner? You had to bring a sound egg. What is the use of this cracked egg? Well... Perhaps a brilliant idea. No farther, darn egg, I lost my mind at the moment. I was almost as dumb as Malak. Now that the mill has already been ruined, I'm going to harass the Waragon. At least I'll catch it and sell it or something. If anything can be used, sold as a trophy, bring it to me. How much contribution? 80? And a coin? Uh... Okay. You know what? I'll bite here. Uh, there is knowledge attached to this quest, so that's the only reason I'm really willing to do it. This is the costume, uh, Broadlock. Once again, there's maintenance here in about uh, three and a half hours. We'll probably switch over to pinball then, I'd imagine. Really, it's just a skin on the gear I'm wearing. The costume's only only cosmetic. Maybe it has some sort of bonus. XP gain, no big deal. XP is kind of a joke in this game until you get very late game. Yeah, shall we play uh, live pinball most nights on my stream? I have Star Trek: The Next Generation by Williams Pinball Company set up this week. We'll probably switch over to Star Trek Vengeance next week. What is this orange marker on the road? Oh, it's Waragons under the cave. Herp a derp a derp. Will I go for 10 billion on the first go? Probably not, Boogie, but anything's possible through the power of imagination. They've only had two maintenances since the game launched, Grant Higgs, to my knowledge. Honestly, the launch of this MMO has gone so spectacularly well compared to every other MMO I've seen launch. Maintenance is A-OK. -okay. No unexpected crashes or uh, any other shenanigans. Hello, Super Programmer 87 Welcome to the stream, sir. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, hey, was he, like, in the rock? That was weird. If you just want to grind, you're going to level up real quick. It's a fall. Uh, if you want to focus on questing and crafting and stuff, it's going to take you a little bit longer.
What? Oh, that was that hitting me. I was like, what? Did I just use a skill I didn't know I have? No. I'm very active in reading chat, Super Programmer. It's just part of my streaming style. Always has been. We're going on... Uh, well, we're over four years full-time broadcasting now. Thank you all for that. No, you're cool. For me, interacting with chat is over half the fun of broadcasting. Get me off this crazy ride. You can follow the stream by clicking the follow button below the broadcast. Whoa, those guys hit hard. They aren't playing. I thought I was playing. I was wrong. That was a sexy lightning. All right, let's get the hell out of here, huh? Oh, that's why. We got a sturdy Waragon in the house. Dude, not cool. Not cool. I'm guessing sturdy just means crap ton of HP, apparently. Oh, he's spitting at me, too. That's why it hurts so bad. Dude, come on. Jesus. That was not so good. What's up, Jedi? Okay, a real. Uh, let me get out of this area and I'll explain how to get to the cooking quest for you, Mitch. They just did a balance on tamers, and I'm sure they'll do more balance, Milo Biv. The devs are actually really active in this game, which is nice. Hey, it's an exit. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, then. Okay, Sorceress is more of a melee combo class. Consider Sorceress like a monk, Inferno. Um, whereas Witch is more of a pure, you know, caster. Okay, I'm actually going to escape here. This will actually be easier, and then I can show you how to get the uh, cooking skill quests and stuff. Gotta get out of combat first, fair enough. No? Okay, apparently I can't do that. Fair enough. Hey, we made it. Connect the Northern Heidel Quarry. You'd have to connect Heidel to the Northern uh, Guard Camp. And then connect the quarry from there. Although, I don't think the Northern Heidel Quarry has any mining nodes on it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, and then we'll talk about skill quests. So, something I learned just yesterday about class skill quests. If you summon your Black Spirit... You hit guide, and this guide will take you to all of the knowledge obtaining stuff and advancement quests for cooking, gathering, processing, so on and so forth. So this guide button brings up all the things you need to, uh, to learn. Pretty great so far down around. So if you're ever wondering where to go for your advancement or quest for your class, it's a good place to start. That is all the really important ones. All right, we're going to grab our horse and run up to that farm, because this should be the last uh, last quest we have here. This has been a spectacular area for gaining contribution and energy. Oh, I meant for a worker's cap caprice done. 
yeah, um, some of the uh, completion quests or advancement quests will give you like a big XP boost or some other benefit for completing that quest. A lot of cooking quests will give you additional cooking XP on top of the quest, but there are specific ones that are used for advancement, which gives you a ton of skill XP. Jesus, fat fingers. Yeah, I didn't even know about that guide button until uh, till yesterday. Uh, there's a lot of quests I need to go do on there. Is this Waragon's toenail? Living in the cave might have made it rock hard. If I brush it well and sell it at a fairway place like Valencia, a faraway place, I may we get paid handsomely. That's true. Come on, man. Okay, Waragon trophies. Can you go see Mrs. Light? Okay. Appearance now. Far from realizing justice, I hid and did nothing when I saw injustice. I hated myself for being like that. Decided to trade weed here. Just my luck as always. Anyways, how does my face look? My face has been pretty dry lately. I'm concerned. Answer his question. I'll answer it. Oh, well, I can't say you're the best looking. I see you don't know what true beauty is, Ted Nub Nub. Sure. Nice. Portrait and a fine figure. You're one good judge of character. I thought you had an unusual aura from the first time I met you. Okay. Is he even painting? I haven't heard from him in a while. The painter's house is nearby. Will you check it for me? Sure, man. This is a thing in this game, man. You get like, <laughs> you get on one quest, and then the next quest starts, and you're like, oh, this this is going to round this up, and then eight more quests unlock. Damn, you guys crushed that guild quest. It's beautiful, man. Okay, here's the painter. We'll run through the center of town and turn in his other quests, too. Not really Harry Palms. Uh, this is uh, way different as far as gear goes compared to other games. Any character can wear any, um, any gear at level 1. It's a matter of how much it's enchanted. There's not a bajillion different armor sets in this game, but you have to spend a lot of resources to upgrade them. Oh yeah, give me that. Nice. Hey, no more quests from you. Awesome. So if we round out this painting quest, we should be ready to go to the next, uh, next place. My horse's name is Wiggles, River Flows. Uh, weather just shows, um, like, what the character would look like in different lighting settings for Hurricane. I don't know who Griffin is. Maybe I need to do NPC search for him. Let's see if I can search by name. That's wrong. Okay. G R I F F I A N. Okay, so I haven't met him yet. I'll bet he's in Calfian. Almost a guarantee. Ooh, that very well could be Nerudin. I don't know the details on that one, though. Not everyone can paint. Order me an artist to draw such an ugly face. This is an insult. Wouldn't it be fun if you painted yourself? Anyone with passion could be an artist. Paint the portrait for the painter? Okay. I'm on this. 
Well, you can steal from NBCs? What? Okay, how am I supposed to paint a portrait? Where is this? Is it possible for me to select his easel here? How? I have not any horse breeding yet, no. I may do horse breeding in the future, but I'm not too interested in it right now. Oh, hey, here we go. Thank you. You drew a picture of Xavier. Wow. Nailed it. Good job, Ted. So good. Yeah, that's my hidden talent for sure. Drawing, drawing scumbags. Yes, I will gladly deliver it. No problem. Let's do this. What is this quest right here? What is this? Oh, it's the pick tomatoes. Okay, got it. Well, while we're over here, we might as well do this daily to get the lost cat. This one's super easy. Oh, the sidetracking is real. Terrified cats, no problem. That's only 80. F that. I'm not going to do it. It was 120. All day, baby. All right, let's get out of here. Can guildmates help craft? No, you can't trade between characters in this game, which is great because it removes the botting factor in a game like this. But you can work on stuff together as a guild, but you can't, like, help each other craft stuff. You can share knowledge on how to do things, which is probably the best part about it. Yep, there you go, Narun. You nailed. That's exactly how you draw. No skill required or practice. I myself draw some mean stick figures. There's like an abstract painting. Well, he's a famous artist, and I do look gorgeous after all. Yeah, just stellar, sir. Yeah, I do want the thick fishing rod. That's it. More quests? Yes, we exhausted all the quests. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, you can trade potions and uh, food. That is correct. All right, so now we're headed over to the troll here. I think that's a good call. Should lead us to some Calfian stuff, and then we'll head down to the abandoned camp, which is where my next black uh, spirit quest is. Do, 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 do. Hey, thank you, Minxie one Thank you for using that Amazon affiliate page. It uh, it helps a ton. Here's the guy I gotta turn the tomatoes into. Hey, what's up, dude? Give tomato. I was craving tomatoes for some reason. Thanks a million. Dude, boar, you're ruining my questing here. My character's name, Ted L. Nub Nub Reeves. Number one L. Nub Nub. North America. The man, the myth, the legend. Mostly legend. Well, I haven't been to Calfian yet, uh, down and around, so hard for me to say. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to invest here. 
Okay, we got a daily and one that is a uh, gathering quest. So I'm going to pass on this. Okay, he's got tons of boars in his fields. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing, Shine SC. I can't speak highly enough about it. It's been really enjoyable to play so far. Really excited to see what they'll add in the future, but uh, as is, it's a <laughs> immense game with just an absolute ton of content. Hey, thanks for your generosity, Mixy One. Do, 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 do. Uh, Poolin, my talents are actually pretty, um, pretty sad, to be honest. Because I have not done any, very little combat at all. Are these guys aggro right now? Hold on. I've done very little combat, so my combat skills are pretty abysmal. Okay, I should probably just follow the pathing they tell me to. That usually works out best. Uh, the best skills I've had are the lightning ones. Chain lightning, uh, residual lightning, and lightning storm seem to have offered me the best results. Fireball's okay. Uh, Earth's response is really good too. This one at higher ranks. Gotta have mana drain for sure. Okay, what's up? Are you a volunteer soldier? I'm not a volunteer soldier. Troll with intelligence? Okay, you want to find about trolling? It's a little bit high level for me right now. We'll see though. We will never feed the trolls. Good for you. Oh no, trolls are red now. Cool. Last time I was over here, uh, the trolls were purple and they absolutely kicked my ass. They have a ton of health though. Holy health, Batman. Nice, Yuri Loon. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Jesus. We'll be back for this quest. We're going to do something else for the moment. One thing I very much appreciate about this game is that there's many different types of enemies, and they all have their own. They're not, like, reskinned. Uh, they're not reskinned all the time. There's, like... So many different variations of enemy types. You definitely need to pick a route, uh, Poofalin. You're not going to be able to have everything in this game. Well, since I don't have knowledge of that enemy, I can't tell exactly how much health they have. I can't see their health bar, Deadly Cupcake, until I gain knowledge on the enemy type. But, um, <laughs> just knowing how fast other stuff dies when I use those spells, they probably had about three times as much health as what I'm used to. I mean, maybe I should quest over here. I don't know. Maybe. If I get surrounded by trolls, I'm going to die is the problem. Guys, I need to use the restroom real quick. This is not an ad break. I'll return in just a moment.
All right, guys. Thanks so much for your patience. I appreciate it. Okay, let's, um... I mean, let's go ahead and do some of these troll quests. I mean, why not, right? We have a couple of quests to turn in over at the abandoned camp, which is where my next Black Spirit quest is. However... I don't see any reason not to kill trolls here. This could suck. I might die here. We'll find out shortly. I'm glad you like it, Tactical Milkman. I spent about two hours making this face. It's definitely some work. Troll Carcass? Oh my god, what? Okay, I don't want to be here, that's for sure. I haven't been this addicted in a game in an extremely long time. I forgot what it was like to have a, a video game addiction, to be honest. There's two, three spots around the trolls that all give quests. Okay, I'm going to guess this encampment up here is one of them. This one, too. No, I don't see any quest givers here. Thanks for the heads up, Tallywacka. Hey, it's a quest. Like, I legit forgot what it was like to truly enjoy playing a large game. Every large game I've tried to, uh... Okay, kill Karudos. Any, uh, yeah, I just... I forgot what it felt like. Maybe the next one's on this guard tower over here? Yeah, you can see the level that's the top bar here, or you can see the percentage level right here. Someone on, yeah, there's a quest. Thanks for that heads up, Tallywacko. Contaminated dog haunt. Okay. Sure, I can reduce some contaminated dog numbers. Nope, sure as hell don't, Mandan brothers. No thank you. I shaved my beard about five months ago, and that was the first time I had shaved it in about three years. I much prefer not shaving. What do you mean by gold activities, Volpine? Oh, guild activities. Okay, so you can do uh, giant boss summons with scrolls, which you can buy as a guild. Um... You can also do node wars, uh, large-scale PvP modes. Uh, you can do guild wars, so you can do guild quests as well. Keep it dapper. Sphinx42, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the five consecutive months. Much love. Troll cow? Is that a thing? Spoopy, man. Troll cow. You don't say. Ha! <laughs> nice, nice, uh, Tallywacka. Alright, well, there are some trolls in here, at least. No, this is the soldiers. I would imagine so. I definitely check the minimum system requirements, Tattoo Milkman, for the game, but uh, this game can run on a wide variety of systems. No, guild quests generally require uh, a group effort past Little Squirrel. Like, for example, we just had one to collect 700 uh, ore, so that'd be not impossible, but really hard to do by yourself. Okay, we can turn that one in now. How did I miss the knowledge here? I didn't talk to the node manager. Herp a derp a derp. Energy will increase by one. Nice. 
It's already released. It's been released as of March 3rd. Hardest. Okay, no follow-up quest. That's fine. It depends on what you'd need to do. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I mean, that's uh, there's definitely lesser quests too. That was a that was a somewhat bigger quest. Uh, from what we've been doing, there's some doges. Kill that doge. I have tried ranger and berserker. I like both of them, but uh, opted on going wizard. I've always kind of been a uh, range caster player, to be honest. So uh, that's what I went with. You can definitely swim to the islands north of Elia, but you're going to need to bring a lot of health potions with you if you're going to swim. Certainly is possible, though. I've always been a wizard. That's right, Tallywacker. Nailed it. Ain't that the truth, though? Uh, pets will loot for you, Iron uh, at varying rates. So we got a pet here. Level 6, Wanston. We'll pick up every 5.2 seconds. Can make him a happy kitty. Let's feed him. Pets can also point out resources, and uh, the Hawk Pets will point out special NPCs, such as, like, uh, a Sentry or a Tough Mob or something like that. You got a follow-up? No follow-up. That's fine. All right, let's go find some trolls to kill here. Uh, that and the 5,000-hour achievement ratbacks currently. I mean, honestly, if you don't have pets, you can still manually loot. It's not like the end of the world, but they certainly do help. Well, let me guess, there's going to be a quest for severely wounded soldiers. The health on these trolls is super intense. One hundred percent C price. For thirty dollars, you're not going to find a game of the scope ever. I have bought so many crap. Uh, Triple A titles for sixty dollars, and this game is a real joy to play. Okay, I see those troll warriors. Is there another quest giver around here? I don't know. I'm gonna go run and do the uh, abandoned camp. I feel like coming back at a slightly higher level would make a lot more sense for this area since they're such high HP. <laughs> nice, Rapax, nice. I would say the $30 pack's fine. You're going to have to tame your own horse if you want one, but realistically, you should be running around on foot for the first uh, 15, 20 hours of gameplay anyways. At least. To level up your breast stat. You can have three pets out at max at the same time. Emeron. Did I just pass my horse? No. What are my positive and negatives for Black Desert Online? The only real negative I can think is if you're expecting just to hop in the game and know exactly what you're doing, you're going to feel extremely overwhelmed. It does require some uh, foresight and knowledge to know what you're doing. Definitely have to watch some guides and whatnot. It's not it's not a no-brainer game. If you uh, if you want just to completely zone out and do nothing, this probably isn't the game for you. 
Uh, although you could just grind anyways. The positives are a huge, giant, open-world RPG experience. Some fun multiplayer options, and, uh... I don't know, man. This game, uh, sunk its hooked into me in a way that... It's hard to believe how good it is. All right, what's happening over here? Yeah, you can also AFK farm. I mean, there's really so many options in this game. It's like the only downside. There's so many options. It's kind of hard to choose what to do. Oh, man, my dialogue volume's down. Sorry, guys. All right, sorry about that. I turned on my dialogue volume so you guys didn't have to listen to Ted yell while we were farming earlier. We'll talk after that. Okay. Yes, Northern Tell Mrs. Light, we've already said we take care of this area. So why does she want to come here herself? Because you're obviously not doing your job, sirs. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm concerned that she's going to display Elion as an Elionian follower. I you see a contamination of the refugee camp is getting worse every day. Uh-huh. Get rid of the contaminated villagers. That's that's the spirit. That's the good Elion spirit. Purge the non-believers. Yeah. Cool. It's the good Elion way. Just kill everything. It's no big deal. Oh, hell yeah, we got a bunch of quests here. This is beautiful, man. We also have Black Spirit quest here as well. Oh, and more quests? Oh, baby. All right, let's turn our dialogue volume up just a little bit. So if we get another cutscene, it's not totally dead. We'll go 25. Now you can listen to Ted do this. Well, you'll see. I'm a goblin clown. I make people happy, if you say so. A jester looking for the city. Nope, I'm not taking you to Calfian. Sorry, bud. Hey, knowledge. What's happening? More energy. Sick. I am not looking for workers. Uh, nope. Interesting. Okay, I need theology knowledge to talk to this guy. That's cool, Hex. That's cool. This is your pot of salvation. This pot will subdue the evil contamination. It is the pot of salvation. Those who believe will be saved. Bow down and pray for I am your savior. The smoke coming from it helps disease. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. I don't have glaucoma, bud. I made through several years of work. Proof, look at the face around here. They look rosy. He. After this year, this day, I discovered the ingredient, which is the antidote. It is the blood of the contaminated witch. <laughs> okay, man. Sure, bud. Sure. Whatever, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. The food in my quick bar is omelets. Thanks for the reminder. This area is generally pretty crowded, but that's okay. This area is not too bad to farm. Oh, zoom, thank you. The respawn rates are alright. 
And we have most knowledge here. I tried to farm here one night. It was pretty lackluster. They move really slow. Oh, hey, more quests over here. What's happening? What's happening? I love quests. Son, please come back. My son's necklace. My son is somewhere out there, but I can't rescue him because I'm already contaminated. Yeah, okay. I have a feeling he's dead. That's my feels. Yes, I did, Neo. Thank you. I'll get that done before uh, before we sign off for the night. Hey, more quests. This is beautiful. This area is awesome. Have a great one, race car driver. Take her easy, man. A unique plan. They didn't have the amulet. Nice hand motions, guy. Omelette fragments. Okay, sure thing, bud. Oh my god, the amount of quests here is just freaking beautiful. Mother says she's left because she's contaminated, but she was just fine the day before. She was a usual self. Can you find Mother by any chance, or at least some trace of her? Sitting here and doing nothing? I can't stand it. How sad. Have a good one, new blood. Okay, so we got like a bajillion quests here. This is beautiful. Let's hop this fence real quick. I see some orange blips. Contaminated dwarf. I need knowledge on contaminated busher, so it'd be nice if we can get that. The problem with this area for wizards specifically is getting um, getting big pulls together is hard because everything moves so slow. Oh, sorry guys. So bad with that. It's a fancy little camp up here. I like it. Weezer! Yeah, I zoom in, or I try to zoom in for the quest text so people on mobile can read. And then I almost always forget to unzoom it like a dumb dumb. Oh, this is a fun little area. Oh. Well, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. I feel like this camp is somewhat overlooked by the people farming here. Good for me. These giants have a pretty intense amount of HP. Damn, I just missed that mana drain big time. I see a bunch of marks up here. That's good. Yeah, she's just hanging around. Don't worry about it, kid. Nailed it, man. Nailed it. Acquire Shining Necklace by Killing Contaminated Males. Okay. Nice. Got knowledge on that butcher, baby. That's good stuff. 
Uh, there's whales in the ocean. I don't know if there's sharks and stuff, but really, I think fatigue damage is the real killer in the ocean. Was my understanding. Uh, we have quite a few other spells that we can use, uh, but the lightning has thus far been the most effective DPS for me. I mean, I have Fireball and a few other spells I can use, but my, my main nukes right now have been... have been the lightning. We are on Eden Serendia 1. What's up, Noble Truce? The way you level really fast, you get a group of five, and then you just kind of take over an area. The uh, XP share is quite wide. Very wide. Okay. Quest objective accomplished. Good. I still need contaminated witches, contaminated males. We got like 14 bajillion quests here. It's beautiful. What's up, gray man? Okay, so that's another... Uh, oh. oh, I got the drain there? Okay. Yeah, these top camps are legit. Keep it dapper. Soda Burger, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months. Much love. Yeah, like the uh, the range that you get XP from your party killing stuff is pretty wide, so you're definitely uh, it's to your benefit to have a larger group. Solo is definitely not faster in this game. Okay, there's three. I can guarantee there's going to be follow-up quests here, but that's okay. Plenty of time. Yeah, preferring to play solo, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I've, I have not felt like I've been in a rush at all playing this game, which is one of the reasons I've really been enjoying it. I always feel like I have something to do, but I never feel like I am uh, forced to to do anything. There is no quest sharing in this game, but yes, you can do almost all quests in a group. The only exception being is the ones that require a summon scroll. You must have uh, the party leader summon the uh, whatever the summon scroll is. Okay, apparently there's something over here. Oh, yeah, I got Black Spirit quests to turn in. Um, you have a little bit of each, Nacho Berries, and you get to choose where you want to spend your skill points. You can effectively have everything done. You can have all skills if you grind for long enough. Otherwise, you're going to have to make some choices about uh, what you want for sure. Okay, got quests to turn in here. What's happening? Let's go talk to our Black Spirit first, see if he gets to follow up. Nice, Thrivium. Good to know. See the smoke from the totem? That's very familiar to me. Okay. The origin of mystic power. The forest is full of black power, especially that big tree. I know where this is, I think. Well, I know where the Bree Tree ruins are, but... We'll do that after these. Um, I will take... Uh, lumbering Axe, sure. My son will thank you from the sky. How sad. How sad. I had to wonder what quest marker this is for. No follow-up. Nice. Really? She wasn't there? I cannot believe this. Leave my mother like this. Where is Elian? Why should I start like this? Why? Why? That's that's a sad story. Hey, more Black Spirit quest, apparently. Yeah, I've heard Sork is amazing in PvP. Wizard's good in group PvP. 1v1, not so much. There should be a secret path to the underground. Something's raining extremely strong power from down there. Okay, so that's because we already discovered the cave. 
Nice awakening quest. Beautiful. And we got other quests here, too. Okay, big muscle, big brain. Wasn't far from here. Let's go see him. Go to the anti-troll. Okay, this is going to be... Ooh, weapon box. Nice. Co-op tower offense. By the way, since you're my best friend, let me ask you a favor. Destroy that thing. The Bree Tree Ruins Guard. Nice. Blackstone Armor and Inventory Expansion. Cool. Very nice. Awakening Bree Tree Cave. The ancient weapon defends where the roots of the tree reach. There's no use in hiding. We'll find everything and get all the power behind it. Sure. Sweet. We got a bunch of quests over at the Bree Tree Ruins now. That is spectacular. I really want to know what this quest is, though. Like, I'm right here. Have conversation with the refugees and find out what condition they're in. Okay, so I need to talk to uh, these villagers. I guess. One of these is going to have a uh, knowledge thing, I bet. Oh, no, the quest turn ins here. We already got it. What's happening? This is it right here. No, other little kid. You want to talk to me, right? What? Why don't you want to chat, kid? Cheer up. Things will get better. They probably won't. What? Hey, what's happening, guy on the ground? Ellie and save ya? Hold on. I'll keep you company, don't worry. Look, we can be slug buddies. I'm a slug, you're a slug, we'll be slugs together. Huh? Just slug on along. Living that slug life, partner. Nice. Slug life. Good chat, man. Good chat. Good chat. Why won't you talk to me, kid? Doesn't even make any sense. Like, that that's the quest turn-in right there. Maybe I have to finish other quests first? That's kind of weird, though. Oh, I couldn't give you an exact amount, uh, near Kirby. Let's say, let's say 25. Why can't I talk to that chick? I would not recommend selling Blackstones, no, that's your main enchanting, uh, enchanting piece. There's a priest in here? Oh, okay, what happened here? Cutscene time. Thanks for the clarification, guys. God bless having a stream to bounce ideas off of.
Okay, Blasphemer, so what you're saying is the weapon I'm gonna get from that next quest... Wait, hold on, but if I, uh... Hold on. The quest, the the staff I'm gonna get from the next quest, or this one? Because if I try to pull the black stones out of this item, it's gonna kill it, right? Or is the ultimate bestier staff one that uh, does not? Okay, black stone using enchantment can be retrieved later using extraction. So this one will not be destroyed when I extract, but I need to hold on to the staff. So to confirm, I can take the black stones out of that item without uh, without losing it. Correct. What's happening, Dead Flip? How you doing, dude? What's up, kid? Metropolis Calfian. Harold Rubin, okay. All right. Okay, keep the ultimate bestier. You have to make it to plus seven maximum and you get a quest chain that nets you about 15 weapon black stones. You only don't have a chance to lose the weapon if they are not past plus five. So if I don't have it to uh, plus five, I'm not going to lose the staff. Okay. So I can remove the Blackstone safely without losing the Bastier staff, which I need for later. It's going great, Sethus. We've actually had a very uh, profitable and good day so far in this game. Cool. More quest unlocked, of course. Yeah, okay, crazy guy. That's cool, man. We'll be headed north after this to finish off the Black Spirit quest for the Awakening. Good, but it's merely a start. Sure, bud. Big money, no whammies on that. Dear God, man. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Lose Minded. I think the Bastyr Staff is the exception, because Blackstone's use enhancement can be retrieved later using Extraction Blacksmith, where other weapons do not say that. Okay, what do you got? Oh, you're the goblin. You're, you're, no, 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 no. Okay, the weapon still breaks. I don't know, man. That kind of sucks. I invested my Blackstones into this weapon. Uh... A bummer. Sure, I can do that. I mean, I might as well. This is easy, easy contribution. Helping with the ceremony. Sure. I wish it would have let me take all these quests at once. I understand why it didn't, but I wish it would have.
Okay, bizarre armless, yeah. No problem. It's basically a reset of the quest we just had, which is fine. I'll keep it dapper. Captain Boof, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 15. One second, months. Maximum breath level is 30. Steadiness. Appreciate you, Captain Boof. All right, let's talk to this feller. Absolute intelligence and wisdom. Okay. Two beliefs cannot coexist in one world. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Keep it dapper. Jargus, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 24 consecutive months. Thank you for the great two years, man. Much love. Incomprehensible work. No problem. Troublesome creatures. Okay, this one's for the giants. Cool. Oh man, the amount of contribution we're gonna get right here is freaking awesome. This one should be turned in right away. I don't have wizard and witch knowledge. Okay. You need to have 200 favor with that guy to talk to somebody in Calf. May as well get it now. Uh, I don't want to do a conversation mini game right now. We'll get there. I plan on uh, kind of completing all of the stuff I can do right now, and then what I'm going to do later is go back and do all the Amity mini games and stuff and unlock all that. I kind of look at that as a secondary objective. But thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Ace, 11575, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 18 consecutive months. Anybody uh, checked out any Division streams? I watched some myself uh, earlier today. I definitely tell you I won't be playing that, but uh, to each their own. Okay, I need to reload my UI here. Where'd my frames go? Oh, uh, you can Nimby Man, but you can also go catch a horse for much cheaper. No, it just, if there's any graphical glitches in your UI and stuff, Capri, uh, it will, um, you know, fix them. Which is nice. I'm gonna go up on the hill here. Very nice. Um, I definitely recommend if you do exclam guide in the chat, that'll bring up a YouTube user which has a guide for catching horses. Yeah, what Capri Stun just uh, put in there is correct. Wait, I have, I have which... Who, what knowledge don't I have? He told me to get knowledge of... Maybe I need to kill X amount? Ah, I see. Yeah, I watched, uh, I watched Division stream, so I was curious about the game. I wasn't really planning on playing it. It's, it's like, for me, it looked a little bit off. It was hard to put my finger on it. I think uh, Ashley Ashley nailed it. Like a lot of the stuff doesn't look like it fits, or at least it didn't for me. I'm sure the game's fun. I'm not trying to sit here and bash a game, but uh, something seemed very off about it. An MMO style game for me needs to have some sort of immersion. Keep it like dapper. for a specific example, uh, like if you look at a brick wall in Division. The brick look is there, but if you actually get up on the wall, 
it's completely flat. It's kind of devoid of that texture you're looking for is realistic. And like the cars kind of look like there's kind of copy pasta in. That was my feel on it. It just looked kind of off. And the running animation, this, or running with a gun like this, just really odd. Maddie Kiernan TV, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Awesome, Maddie here at Well, Pleasure having you. I'm certainly not one to bash games or tell people they shouldn't play games. I think you should play whatever is fun to you. And if you enjoy playing the division, great. Fantastic. Enjoy the hell out of it. Is, uh, there's some stuff that really irked me about the game looking at it. There's a lot of little details missing. Ah, uh, bummer, Rudin. Sorry to hear that. Do do do. There is large-scale guild PvP, world bosses, and some really intense uh, summon scrolls in this game. No current dungeons, but they're, the game is still relatively new in development in terms of the life of MMO. And they're definitely uh, receptive to adding dungeons into the game. We just have to wait. What have I done in Black Desert Online already? Well, uh, not that much, to be honest. I've discovered a lot more of the map. We're kind of working in this area now. Uh, after that, I really need to get into the ocean on a boat and go check out all these islands and stuff. Uh, I got so much left to do. Hey, Maddie Kiernan, thanks for stopping by before you went to bed, man. Take her easy. Yes, bosses do drop loot. Indeed, Nimby. Most certainly. Some of the best gear in the game is from the uh, the guild summons, and some of the even better gear is from uh, the world bosses. Look at all these quest turn-ins, though. Look at them. I think the concept for the game, official Kreen, has a lot of uh, a lot of potential. Okay, what do I need left here? So many turn-ins. Okay, summon guard towers, find Alina Light, that's not what I need. Learn about trolls, Calfian, destroy refugee camp amulets, that's it. Hey, good night, Leprechaun, take her easy, man. Well, there's a lot of people farming here, so it's gonna be a minute. I see one. Give it to me. It's two. Wonder if there's any of these up the hill. There's none down here, so it's not gonna hurt. Uh, upgrade components. There are different sets of gear that have bonuses as well, uh, Pigsty. Something you could also be very excited about is the crystals that you enchant or enhance your gear with. You could, There's some really powerful stuff that you can get uh, dropped there. So that's definitely something to be excited about as well. Puppy! Well, this is going to take a hot minute now, isn't it? I guess we could go turn in quest and then come back. They'll probably get other quests here too, I'd imagine. Where are my turn ins at? Right about her. Very little griefing, uh, Joke Joke. You, there's no, uh, well, you can open world PvP, but there is a karma system, and if you have really low karma, it's very detrimental to your play. 
So you can open world PvP, but it's definitely not encouraged. I haven't seen too much of it at all. Granted, I'm not that high level yet. Sure, they'll go back to the way they used to be. Sure, they will. Hey, nice, Maddie Kiernan. There you go, man. Take her easy. I would sell my soul if I could kill those lunatics. The greatest pain number two. What do you got? Catch contaminated wizards. Could you bring back the mask they wear? Sure, man. Whatever you need, contaminated guy. Yes, and if you, if you get a guild war started, it's uh, completely all all uh, gloves are off. You're able to PvP anybody you see from the guild you're at war with, with uh, no penalty. I mean, what a surprise! I'm at least relieved you're that skilled. Hey, I'm Ted Smug El Nub Nub. You don't get to talk to me like that. Hell yeah, I made it. You got another set of quests for me? Oh baby, a last request. Your last request is to kill contaminated dogs? Okay, well, where's the, where's slug guy? Where's slug guy? Let's have a nice little party with him. Oh, he wants dogs too, what's up? Keep it dapper. Wait, does he want me to actually pull the blood out with a syringe? Uh, we're not at, uh... The guy that's a slug. The zoning bro. I will not zone more industrial. Thank you for being here, sir. Appreciate your 14 consecutive months. Much love. All right, guys, my dinner is done. We took a break about two hours ago. I'm actually going to take my food break now. I'll be back in approximately eight minutes. So you know what it takes me to eat. My food's already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. We'll be back uh, in just a couple minutes. If you like ads to play on my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you do not, I still very much appreciate your time here. However, if you'd like to support my content further, please consider bookmarking the Amazon affiliate page. All you have to do is bookmark that link, enter Amazon through there. Every purchase you make will support the content and cost you absolutely nothing extra. Thank you for your consideration. We'll be back soon.
Oh yeah, thanks for your patience guys, appreciate it. I am fed and happy. What's up, Drak? It's great to see you, man. Do 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 do. Okay. So got a bunch more quests now. Neat. Neat. Slam a jam. Oh, I see how that works now. It goes out from my body if I hold it. Seems legit. Hey, I need these. Thank you, Maddie Kiernan. Yeah, this game has an intense amount of content for the price point. Yeah, this little kitty is being a bad boy right now. Being a very bad kitty. Like, it's really hard to put in words just exactly how much content this game has. And there's still two areas that are going to be released that are already made and completed. They just have to get translated over. What's up, Sinvicta? How you doing, dude? Maybe I don't understand how that skill works. I thought I did, but apparently I don't. I'm gonna go turn in I'm gonna go turn in this quest real quick because it might lead to a secondary quest. Woo, baby. It's definitely possible. Yeah, exactly, Priest Sun. You can literally do whatever you want, which is just the best part. Like, if you don't feel like grinding one day, you have plenty of other options of ways to spend your time. This game is uh, a really nice, just kind of escape. You know, you can get away, you can kind of do whatever you want. Beautiful. Follow-up quest? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stop the evil ceremony. Just stop the evil ceremony. In the middle of contaminated land. Okay, you should steal the important object using it. God told us so. Okay. Notice how many sane people don't use that term, but I'll do what you require because... 80 contribution, man. Is there... Do I just see... Okay, I'm tripping there. Nice, Green Eagle. Those decks are fun. Uh, you get pets from the cash shop. There's also one pet awarded at 5,000 hours played. There's no pet breeding in the game currently, but that may come later uh, where you can purchase pets out the marketplace. We're unsure if that's going to be added or not. Oh, ho, ho. that was, that was going to be good. Okay, I need to steal this. I took your book, son. 
Then we're gonna run over here and get contaminated puppies. Or at least I think that's what it is. This area is much less crowded than it was last time I was here. That's very nice. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if the, uh, I'm going to get the blood automatically or if this guy really wants me. Okay, good. I don't have to use my fluid collector. Apparently I don't have contaminated dog knowledge yet. What is this? Like, as nice as it is to get the loot and stuff, I mean, honestly, if you didn't loot a single NPC in this game, you would still find, you could still find a way to be okay financially. That is the truth. Okay, we still need the dog blood. I haven't heard the noise the fluid collector makes, uh, Tallywacka. I've been trying to avoid using that. Do, do, do. Certainly looting helps, but uh, I don't even think it's a requirement, really. Puppies? Puppies? No, nah, it'll happen eventually, Tally. It'll happen eventually. Uh-oh, Knight. Well, take care of yourself. Four out of five. This should be the last set of quests here, I'd imagine. But could also be very wrong. Sometimes quests just go on forever. Is my weapon really about to die? Oh, hot diggity, it is. Hot diggity dog. Main city would definitely right now be Kalfian. When the next uh, set of content gets released, there will be an additional large hub city on this side of the map. But as is, uh, Kalfian's where it's at. Yay, knowledge! Come on, man. Just give me... Give me that doge blood. Give me that doge blood. Did I already get it? Nope, not yet. Well, Heidel's definitely a hub city as well. There's a lot of nodes around Heidel, so it's definitely a good place to invest, uh, a great place to invest uh, some contribution points so you can get workers and whatnot. What's up, Kravos? How in the fudge do I have 91%? I just don't understand this game sometimes. I bet it's the uh, the gold I have. Hold on. Where are we going? I'm running the wrong way. It's 14.7.20. Like, I swear, man, I feel like my inventory's glitched. I mean, it's probably not, but... 291 in inventory. I guess that one's 8 and that one's 4 each. I suppose it's possible. I don't believe it though. How many large pots do I have? Oh, we got these two. Okay, it's, it's all adding up now. 
Okay, where's the closest uh, armor or weapon vendor? Say it's not Calfian. It's Calfian. Well, you know what? Let's run into Calfian real quick. I'm not going to talk to anybody except for the armor vendor, but I need to repair my stuff if we're going to go fight boss and whatnot. Sure, Wonder Chris, though my skill tree is uh, poorly underdeveloped because I have not done very much combat at all in this game. So I'm way behind on skills I need to learn. That's okay. I should probably grab Sage's memory. Allows me to instantly cast some stuff. Yeah, my skill tree is pretty, uh, pretty bad. However, this skill right here is legit. This removes all casting animation cooldowns or any casting animations whatsoever. So I can uh, hit that and then immediately cast Meteor and Earthquake and whatever else I want to. I'm not going to talk to anybody here because I am uh, I'm looking forward to going to Calpheon as like a whole stream experience. But as is, I do need to uh, repair my stuff. Arms dealer. Wait, does he not repair? Oh yeah, it's gotta be armor vendor, doesn't it? No, that should be it. Did I totally miss the repair thing? Arms vendor? There's repair. Okay, cool. I'll probably drop a few things here in the shop. We're not gonna be sticky liquid. I don't think we need that in our inventory. We're not going to get a hundred of these. Not going to get enough of those. Crack fangs. Okay, what's this? Waragon hide? I'm not going back into the Waragon cave. I don't even care if it's profitable. So if you get a stack of items that it says there's a specific turn in, like here, Abandoned Land or Western Guard Camp, you can turn these in for extra cash, but uh, we're not building up stacks at a good enough rate to actually do that. All right, that uh, kind of sorts us out. Here. Good enough. Good enough. All right, we're going to head out of Calpheon now and go to our other quests. We're going to path back to these guys, and then we're going to path up to... Uh, the Bree Tree Ruins up here for our Black Spirit quest to get our Awakening. It'll give us a new weapon and some other goods. No, it's not, Sven Victor. There's definitely some stuff that's worth selling on the marketplace, but uh, I hear you. I hear ya. Uh, Tiberlu, thank you for keeping it to ever appreciate the nineteen consecutive months. Much love. Much love. Potions. 
Okay, that was easy. What do you got? I'll take the two ancient bronze coins, sure. I am Wizard, Mally Midnight. I'm glad you're here, me too. Anything else? Nice. Okay, so this one, that's to go to Calfian. Let's go uh, find our horse real quick. Which I can probably whistle it here. Wassle! Got me here, Wiggles. Hey, Wiggles. All right, Wiggles, we are headed to the Bree Tree Ruins. I'm probably going to park my horse right about there. Do do loop do do do. I agree, Tallywacka. I agree. I think you can still buy low and sell high and make money by uh, farming the auction house, but you can't manipulate the market in that bad of a way. Uno momento, guys. Hold on, guys. We got to do our duty here. I'm near Feria, uh, which is down here somewhere. God, where is Feria? Here. Okay, I need to head down to Feria because I need to get uh, rough opals for our guild quest, and then we'll come back for that. Yeah, I'm going to find opals right now. If I can find where Feria is, we'll see. We'll see. Gotta do my duty. I'm hoping I can remember where a fairy is, but we'll uh, we'll see here shortly. I think you have to connect nodes to get rid of the fog of war effect on the on the map. It's been pinged. Uh, I don't see a ping. Okay, cool. I was uh, way off. In that case, yes, I do see it, and we'll just uh, keep heading down this road and then hook up north. Now, I just run around and explore. There are so many quests in this game, Wonder Chris. If you're uh, if you're hell bent on questing, you're going to be in the same areas for a very long time. Not quite. Oh, I just had to discover that's weird because I discovered a feria, but uh, maybe I need the node manager. Yeah, Neo, got to do your part. I mean, I'm close to the objective to get the rough opals, so it only makes sense I head out and try to help out the guild here. It is our guild, after all. The processing melted iron shards is super easy. I have 30 hours in my main, but haven't even gone to Hydel yet. Yeah, I spent easy, uh, easy 18 hours in just Velia doing uh, class quests and stuff. Okay, opals are 100% chance to drop. Cool. I remember what they look like too, like shell fungus. The guild is the Dapper Guild, Spider. We're currently, uh, currently maxed out for members, but. We still have more slots to unlock, and I'm sure rotations will happen eventually. So this is where you build big boats. This is the the cool place to be. I gotta get out on the beach here. Alright. Hey, Minoke's here too.
Here, shell fungus. That looks like one. Nope, that's not one. Must already be mined out. There it is. Do, do. Rough Opal. All right, not respawned yet. That's fine. Other other guilds know this is a good area to get these as well. So when other guilds have the quest for it, they'll do it. These can be really tricky to find the nodes too. You really have to get on top of them. We need opal for our guild supply damper. mission. A raven, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciates twenty consecutive months. Much love. No, fanboy, I could I could level I could have leveled up to 50 uh, real easily if I wanted to, but I'm focusing on doing questing and crafting and stuff like that. So I didn't necessarily hit a wall in leveling, I just wanted to go do other things. And the nice part about this game is you're not uh, you know, you're not forced to get to max level to enjoy the content of the game. So I've just been slow rolling it. No, thank you, a Raven. Appreciate the great 20 months. Much love, man. No, not on that one. Ah. Sounds good, Minxie One. Thank you again for the support or the resubscription. Okay. How do I install the game? If you go onto the website, uh, Quay Store, and um, log into the website via your account, and then click on the account tab, it'll bring you to a page that has your account information, and your download for the launcher should be in that page. Have a great one, Matty Kiernan. Need one more here. There we go. Whoops. I type we got there and then uh, stop my casting animation. I did easy, Mercs. Although I will say this the launch of this game went better than any launch I've ever seen. Uh, Herpy Doob, the ancient relics, if you collect five of them, will turn into a level 50 boss summon scroll. Doo -doo. Oh, it went really well from MML launch. I mean, if it's, I've been a part of many big game launches, and uh, this is hands down the best I've seen. Doo -doo -doo. Was it perfect? No, but considering the amount of traffic they handled uh, in the time frame they had, impressive. Yeah, if you're looking for some uh, quick dosh, it's definitely an uh, easy thing to sell. Doo -doo 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 All right, now we're going to head back out of here. All right, we're going to head over here now. That's where we were going last time.
sell on the marketplace for sure, Herpy. For sure. For sure, sell on the marketplace. Most things, if you have the option of selling in the marketplace, you should. But especially items like that, you're getting a much higher price. Well, I think one of the negatives of uh, Square, it would be... The amount of time you have to spend to do stuff is pretty intense. It's definitely a commitment to play the game, but really... That's it for me. I've been enjoying the heck out of the game. I've been praising it because I actually enjoy it. I'm pretty vocal when I don't like something. I always try to find a positive spin if I don't like things, but... Nami Cakes, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 37 consecutive months. Much love. There really aren't very many negatives for me to say about this game, especially at the $30 price tag. The dollar per hour value of this game is amazing. The learning cliff could be a negative for a lot of people, but I look at it as a challenge and I love that. I will certainly say this game's not for everybody. If you're not interested in, uh, I don't know. Like I can say if you're not interested in crafting or doing the other world stuff, it's not worth it. But at the same time, the combat feels amazing. So that's not really a huge downside. I would say that'd be fair, a herpy do. A lot of the quests are somewhat the same, but uh, you feel like you're accomplishing something when you do quests because you gain contribution, which is a huge part of the game. All right, guys, excuse me for just one moment. I got sidetracked with that guild quest. That is a very wise statement. If you're looking for an authentic Pac-Man experience, this game may not also be for you. Ain't that the truth? All right, horsey, I'll give you a carrot. Start, start behaving. Okay, so now we're gonna head up into the Bree Ruins here. I guess we can head a little bit north. This is where we were farming last night, but uh, no need to farm right now. I just wanna knock out these quests. And you know what? I threw away my key, and I'll bet that key is going to be inside that cave for a treasure chest. How does this game compare to pinball? Afraid it's not even close. Pinball's the best. The absolute best. If you say you're navigating to the arrow chain, it kind of looks Pac-Man. That's true. You can pretend you're Pac-Man all the time. Stellar thought there, sir. <laughs> hey, that's an ancient statue. Don't be hitting that. Or hit it, I don't care. Is the tree summon up here? I've never seen a boss summon a circle be so small, but it must be, right? So this could suck. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss for bosses on wizard. Uh, you can ultimately get screwed over if it's a particularly nasty boss or a ranged boss. But if it's a melee boss, we should be uh, clean and free here. Okay. 
Okay, that's not the one. Well, what is my quest here, then? Oh, this is underneath. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Whoa, that lag spike. Yeah, the harpies are really stupid. I did not enjoy that harpy area one bit. Oh, I can't help with their boss. Bummer. I did buy some Thrix, but I have gotten quite a few inventory slot ones as well. Where do you suggest I level as a level 31 wizard? Red Orcs are still okay at uh, 31. Black Spirit skill always gets us there. Big money, no whammies. Oh yes, once you reach 32, Kurito Cave is really fantastic, as is Bandits. I will uh, echo both those sentiments. Let's see if I can point out where these are on the map. Kurito Cave is right in here. There's also camps surrounding the entire Kurudo area, which are nice. Where are the bandits? Yeah, bandits are in this area, and then Kurudos are on the other side. Bandits are probably easier in the 32 range, but uh, Kurudos are quite nice as wizard. There's a lot of um, a lot of camps you can pull together. The only ranged NPCs are the shamans, and uh, what's the other one? The young Kurudos, which have very low HP. I think we're about to get another upgrade to our Black Spirit here. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, where is this diddly darn cave entrance here? Not there. Here it is. Black Desert Tome, thank you for the host. Greatly appreciated. Oh, adventure is possessed by Black Spirit. Spoopy. Wait, this is not where the cave is. Where's the cave? I know there's a little camp in here somewhere. Oh yeah, I could have used my uh, my new skill too to. Uh, immediately cast a uh, meteor strike but I did not but I did not okay let's look at our map here okay apparently it's over here no I think I misclicked the wrong thing here hey it's going great the Harlequin how are you sir Yeah, this is definitely not the cave. It's got to be close to here, though. It must. There it is. There it is. This should be nice. We'll get an awakening and a new weapon, which should be good. I'm unsure. Somebody told me I need to hold on to my ultimate Basir Staff to get 15 Blackstones later. But if I do that and don't equip my new weapon, we're going to be a little bit at a disadvantage. Oh, hey, quest for ruined spiders and ruined golems. Neat. Well, while we're here...
Big money, no whammies. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go knock these out real quick. No, let's go in here. I don't know what the new weapon's gonna look like. I'm mostly worried I won't be able to pull my Blackstone out of the weapon uh, safely. Is this not? Keep it dapper. Drowning Hippo, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 31 consecutive months. Much love. Hey, cheers, PRP shoot. Glad to have you here, sir. Where is this frickin' cave entrance? I get a weapon from a chest that the Black Spirit's gonna give me here shortly. Um, okay, goblin in a tree. Can I get up here? Caves at the base of the hill that we're on top of. Okay. Well, let's go find that then. <clears throat> Is this it? God, I am so freaking confused right now. Why? I found this cave no problem before. I just don't, I don't see it now. Maybe it's over here? I know it was the end of one of these little string pathways. Yeah, you do. Uh, you more you more so get uh, materials from your workers that you can transfer into making stuff to make money. But uh, the workers pulling in materials, every material turned in turned in is money in some way or another. So, like for example, I have you know three thousand pumpkins or something like that. I can use those to cook uh, food to sell in the marketplace. Oh, bats! Oh, my black spirit's quite excited right now. What are these? Ancient ruins guard? Whatever. I can almost guarantee there's a quest to go down here after those other quests, but you know what? I ain't even worried about it. We're gonna run past these. This is a smart thing to do. All kinds of spoopy noises happening here. Yeah, me too. Grab a situation. Me too. Okay, now we got ourselves a pull. That robotic noise they're making is pretty cool. Okay, they're also ranged. That sucks. Those are some terrifying noises, man. Chaos, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the two consecutive months, sir. Much love to you. Well, I feel incredibly lucky we got that uh, ancient gate knowledge. Oh, hey, guys. Don't mind if I run right past you. Don't worry about it.
sick knowledge gain, man. Oh, I will. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. This might be a cutscene. I'm going to go off cam for a sec, just in case. There it is. Gandhi loves freaking Chachki. Still love your name. Thank you for the 38 consecutive months. Gandhi loves Chachki. What a player. Oh, snap. Black spirit of superior dentistry has now donned a cape. Yes. Quite cozy. Was that not my... He did level up there, did he not? Why is he not look more creepy for me? There he is. There's the upgrades. He looks pretty, you know, not creepy now. Sure. Alright, I was gonna try to blast my way out of this area. We're running. See ya. Do, 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 do. Some nice mining down here, though, if we're being honest. Check out those teeth, Black Spirit. Works for me, man. I would farm down here for a minute, but I do not like the noise of those things. It's creeping me out. It, the gravel situation. A little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. I have really enjoyed Wizards so far. I have been a longtime player of... Uh, longtime player of... Range casters in RPGs and MMOs. And I will say it's been uh, pretty great. What a player. All right, Ruin Spider, Ruin Spider, Ruins Golem. Ruins Golem's on our quest objective? Well, hold on a gosh darn minute. This area is pretty decent farm. A lot of people don't like that the uh, NPCs move so slow, but if you're an AOA nuking uh, character, this area is actually pretty legit. Oh, we just pulled a critical. That's uh, that's gonna be interesting. Hey, good time for this. So what I just did was I casted uh, my my big spell, which allows me to have no casting animations for 15 seconds. And that's pretty good. So I was able to cast Meteor Strike, Earthquake, Chain Lightning, uh, res Residual Lightning, and a few others with no, uh, no casting animation, which works out great when you're fighting a very nasty NPC. Oh, hey, I need the omelet here. Thanks for the reminder. That guy almost always drops that magic crystal abundance armor. 
Well, must say I'm a pretty huge fan of that uh, spell I just got. Only on a three minute cooldown too, that's pretty good. That's gonna be pretty radical in PvP, I'll tell you that right now. Radical. Oh hey, I'm out of mono. Yeah, mono drain that too, Ted, that's good. If you had any problems using, that's the first time I ever used uh, Sage's Memory, so I'll get back to you on that, Tallywacka. Great question, Ride the Tiger. I know very little about trade routes, but are there any traders in the chat that could uh, point Ride the Tiger in the right direction? Wow, we're about to ding 38, nice. All right, now we need to find large cylinder trees and we still need ruin spiders, apparently. What a waste. Yeah, there's a, there's a skill I never use, teleport. I should. I used the hell out of Blink when I was a mage in WoW, but uh, almost never on that. Ooh, skill can be learned Earthquake 2. That sounds pretty good. What's up, Mr. Uncle? Hope you're having a good one, sir. Does he want me to, like, mine these guys or something? Or is it getting really bad RNG? Yeah, it's bad RNG. All right, Black Spirit has a quest for me now. Nice. Am I about to get attacked? Okay, I'm out of here. Come on, Ruins Monsters. I'm trying to talk to my super friendly black spirit here. Stronger than humans. The petrified people? I don't know where the quarry is, so I guess we'll worry about that later. Kind of a weak pull, but I need these spiders. Oh well. I can't tell if this is a quest objective or not. I don't think so. Take that, nature. Wonder if my pets are out of Sadie. They shouldn't be. Ooh. It was not great. Keep it. Ecate's Gray Cloud. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 25 consecutive months. Much love. No, that's all good, Beowulf. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy the game's uh, doing well, to be honest. I have had zero contact with the devs. I mostly keep to myself. Just the way I've always been. They don't call me the hermit of the internet for nothing. Magic Crystal of Abundance Resonance. That was a green one. Where are these big trees that I need? Somewhere over here. 
Yeah, I tell you what, that's the main reason. I mean, of course I wanted extra inventory spots and stuff, but I had no problem spending a few bucks on this game just to support the devs. I like supporting devs when I can. If I really like a game, I got no problem dropping a few bucks on it. No problem at all. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the wall kind of blocked my lightning there. Fair enough. Okay, do we, I still need spider carapaces. Hey, cool Ecotase. Yeah, Pinball Arcade is really great uh, in that regard. They really do do a great job on Pinball Arcade of uh, replicating the real life tables. Quite spectacular, really. Well, no matter what what happens, Tallywacker, there's always going to be a contingency of people that uh, are negative about it. Uh, unfortunately, those usually tend to be the most vocal people. The people actually enjoying playing the game have no need to, you know, speak up or say anything because they're, you know, enjoying playing the game. Negativity is a uh, constant presence on the internet. That's been my experience. But uh, in all that negativity, there are a lot of really great people, good communities, and uh, solid folks out there. You just have to not buy into the negative junk. Easier said than done. He had a protest at the office after I got a raise. Super happy. All right. Hey, everybody's got their own style, Claudio. Nothing wrong with that. Here, spiders, 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 spiders. I think we've gotten really bad RNG on this uh, spider quest. Not complaining, just saying. Whoops. What? I just casted the sages thing. Oh god, don't kill me, man. I thought I casted the sage thing. I did not. Still no spider carapace. My goodness. Ooh, armor blackstone. That makes me happy. Go find some spiders. Overkill. The guild's been rocking out the quest real good. Been real happy with that. We've had no problem completing most quests. We had one quest we... No, we ended up finishing... Did we finish the swordfish quest? I think we completed all quests we started, which is just beautiful.
The meowing is terrible. Apparently, I have been around cats my entire life because it doesn't bug me one bit. What's up, Bud Busterton? Nice. About freaking time on that quest objective, man. Dang. Dang. Yeah, I've been around noisy, obnoxious cats my whole life. All right, let's go turn that in then. Mataholics, uh, thank you for keeping it damp. I appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love. Can you explain how the two-year livestream challenge worked? Absolutely, Jason. So I streamed every day from January 5th, 2012 to January 6th, 2014 uh, with an average of seven hours a night without missing a single day or taking a day off. There was one day that Twitch was completely down, but we added a day onto the challenge for that. That was my attempt to see if I could make streaming my full-time full -time employment. So I did that every day for two years, and we're now a little over two years removed from that. We've since been inducted to the uh, Twitch Hall of Fame for being the creator and first to complete the two-year live stream challenge. But yeah, to sum it up shortly, we streamed every day for two years and I shared my uh, broadcasting experience with everybody and was able to make a, uh, a full-time career out of it. It's been a really amazing journey over the past four years and I owe it uh, in large part to all the people that do support my content. So thank you for being here. Truly wonderful experience. It's so hard to believe and look back that it's been over uh, over two years. Like two years ago, I you know I knew I had made it a career, but I've actually you know fully made fully made a life for myself as an entertainer and broadcaster now. I'd say even within just the past six months or so, I've really kind of got all my shit together, and I now have a complete package. Beautiful, just beautiful. Forever grateful. More quests. Get rid of the spiders. Okay. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your lurk, Mataholics. Ruins, golem, fragments. No problem, bud. What the? It's pulpy and distorted. No market value. It's a waste of energy. Wait, I have one more. I'll take the rough stone. Spotted deer? Okay, yeah, sure, man. This is like easy contribution, easy life, man. Haha, <laughs> yeah, this stream GG. That was a good one. No, Hannah did a, an amazing job on those. What do you want now? Arc in the triangle ruins tree samples. Oh, triangular tree samples. Okay. As a reminder, the server is going down for maintenance in one hour and 15 minutes. So we're going to wrap up, uh, I think, this set of quests. And I'm going to run back to Velia. Actually, maybe I should run back to Velia now and try to spend my energy. Some things you can do in this game. You can cook. You can craft. You can uh, make costumes. You can make a boat. Uh, you can be a lumberjack. The possibilities are almost endless. Yeah, no fishing tonight indeed. I think we'll have time to finish off this next set before we head back. Get our free armor blackstone from the Velia for my 20 contribution points. And go from there. Triangular tree sample. I agree, Uncle. I agree. This game uh, really nailed the um, the NPCs. You see very little reskinning of NPCs, which I certainly appreciate. Nice.
Well, I don't need adventures. I need these trees, man. Hmm. Alright, I'm actually going to uh, head back to Velia now. Start getting my end of the night stuff done. Because uh, I don't want to sell myself short on time, and I would like to do some cooking tonight. We'll run to Heidel to grab some grain for cooking beer, and then we'll go from there. Want to make sure I leave myself enough time. And we certainly have plenty of quests to come back and do uh, tomorrow. Do 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 do. Pinball Ecotes. We play in Star Trek Next Generation. But we'll come back here tomorrow, round this out. Once these quests are round out, we will uh, we'll head down to Kleplin, finish off that town's quest, then we're into Calfian, which we should be into Calfian by the end of the... Uh, uh oh By the end of the week. Oh yeah, for sure, Neo, I do. Okay, I'm going to set an auto path to Heidel, and then I need to uh, use the restroom real quick. Actually, let's head over to Velia, and then I'll run down to Heidel. That's where I'll do my cooking. I have the big cooking utensil there. So, Velia, here we come. All right, guys, run into the restroom real quick.
All right. Yeah, for sure. This is not a hand-holding game. This is a, oh my god, where are all the hands? All right, little horsey, I'll give you a carrot. One time. I need to sort my freaking inventory again. Why, God, do you do this to me? Like, the 10% combat XP bonus seems like a big deal, but really until you're uh, at the soft cap for levels, it's 10% uh, XP is a joke. Oh yeah, speaking of pets, I should put my pets away now. Bye, kitties. We had a good day today. <laughs> to Baron's chat, yeah, well. Public open channels are often like that. When there's no way to moderate what people say, people say what they want. It holds your hands and then abruptly chops them off in one fell swoop. After a false accusation of stealing. There's a dapper member. Oh, I've been through the Western Guard camp in quite some time. Chuck Norris and Dank Memes. Baron's chat all day, every day. God, those, those Chuck Norris memes, man. What a life. What a time to be alive, you know? You can definitely play this game at any pace you want, Mystic Magic. So there's still a lot to do, so I mean... Definitely not going to be top of the world, because there's obviously people no life in the game, but this game is, um... It's a really nice escape, Mystic Magic. You know, you can you can play for a few hours, feel like you got something accomplished, and so honestly, a lot of the stuff you can do while you're AFK as well, if you do have a job and a life and all that, um, is quite beneficial to your character. Like you can really AFK a lot of stuff in this game: fishing, uh, cooking, so on and so forth. You don't have to be max level to access the content of this game. You can definitely do it as a more casual experience, I'd say. All right. No, I don't want to stop here. We want to head down to our storage real quick. Well, general goods vendor. Hold on, Igor Batali. Hey, bud. Here's the thing. I'm going to rent the License Adventurer's Seal for a 20 contribution. What? Hold on. I was told how to do this. Is there... Maybe I just have to wait for the quest to show up. That's definitely possible. It usually takes a second. No? Click it in your inventory. Okay, thanks. There we go. Then we go this, and then he gives me a armor blackstone, and then I immediately return the license adventurer seal, and then we'll pick it back up tomorrow for a free blackstone again. If you have 20 free contribution points, that's definitely a very good thing to do, because those armor blackstones are not only worth a lot of money, but they upgrade your gear too, which is important. It is fun, Deadly Pawns. It's good. I've avoided pretty much every major MMO that's released, uh... Up to this point. Yeah, I know I could get more money for these, but... Here's the thing. My inventory is completely jack a -ronied. Of 
Probably regret selling those, but whatever. Hmm. You invest uh, 20 contribution points at Igor Batali, which will be the uh, main guy you meet in the first, the second town you're in, uh, Velia. You rent the License Adventurer's Seal, right-click in your inventory, which will give you a quest for him, which will give you a Blackstone, then you just return it, and then come back the next day for a free Blackstone again. Yeah, I don't see myself ever having 100 contribution free, but who knows? It could happen. We're only at 106 right now, which is pretty nice. Not quite top of the hour yet. Oh, you can't do all three? Bummer. I guess that makes sense, though. Game's going down for maintenance in one hour, five minutes, uh, Beowulf. Okay, I got 450 per taters. All right, I'm gonna take this wheat out. We'll, uh, we'll use, we'll use wheat, um, to make beer here. I think that is also, um... Igor Batali? I don't know, though, Neil. I wish I knew. All right, I'm just going to snaggle these in here. We're going to start holding on to these coins. We'll be able to trade them somewhere eventually for a lot of money. Okay. Okay. What's happening, creepy feller? Do you want to enhance my gear? So at plus five, you can still get the black stones out. I think it's going to be my final armor set, but I'm not at plus five and everything, so... I'm going to hold off here. Oh, for sure, no, for sure. And there's nothing wrong with just grinding and PvP. Nice, bud. Good stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha, Neo. Thanks for the clarification on that. Appreciate it. All right, we're headed to High Dell now. Where did I put my diddly darn horse? Make him come to me. Here, horsey, horsey, horsey. He used to be little itty bitty and cute, then he got big gnarly teeth, and now he's an evil man. They grow up so fast. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we're ahead of the game on beer, but I have adequate food for the moment, so I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and make more beer. We can always have a surplus of beer. You can never have too much, and especially when I transfer over uh, my nodes, I'm going to completely remove all my nodes and then rebuild them back up in Calfian. Uh, next week. I'll definitely want a surplus of beer for my new uh, workers as well. Uh, Profile 84, we have our own guild for the channel, which is currently at... 68 out of 70 people. We're getting there. I'm really pleased that we were able to actually make a guild on this game. Uh, at earlier points in my career when I wanted to play MMOs, I did not have the... Um, community resource to do a proper guild, and we actually do now, which is fan friggin -tastic. Only took, uh, four and a half years. Do, do, do. 
That's all good. Potatoes are a great way to go, uh, Herbie Doo. I mean, you can never have too much beer. Never, ever. All right, we're going to go uh, park our horse, the stable manager. We're going to go to our warehouse. We're going to see how much beer we can make. Well, we could probably make about 100 beers with 86 energy. By the time we got done uh, casting, it should be about 100. Oh, absolutely, Gumbo. Absolutely. Do, 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 do. Nice freaking carriage there. Our recovery up. Check in. Well, in this game, potatoes are considered a grain and they make beer. But yes, vodka is optimized with potatoes. All right, warehouse, what do we got going on here? Why don't I have more wheat? It's kind of unfortunate. Well, I do have 453 corn I could make beer out of. Do I have somebody not working, like on a wheat farm? Because I feel like I should have much more wheat than that. Dwarf mushroom, okay. Hold on. Cover all. 168 AP, dang. Repeat all. Now let's take a look at our map. Cloud mushroom. Oh, he's already working. What? I don't have anybody working on that iron ore? Okay, well, we're going to be redoing our nodes at the end of the week anyways, but darn shame, huh? Darn shame. All right, I'm just going to let that go. I have 355 potatoes in this hold, too. I guess we'll do potatoes, then. Or corn. Alright, so to make beer, we need five grain, two leavening agent, yeast, two sugar, no, one sugar, and six mineral water. So, let's see here. 450 divided by... No, not times. 450. Come on, clear it. We're going to make 90 beers. I'm not sure if they still work. I think they probably move extremely slow with no stamina, be my guess. Or they won't work at all. All right, so we need 540 mineral water. 180 leavening agent. Ninety sugar, and we already have our grain. Now we're gonna run to our house and get to cooking. Do -do -do -do. You're too good to me, Sukoden. Too good to me. I'm good at a lot of things. Arithmetic has always thrown me, and it's because I never applied myself in school. I wish I would have applied myself more, especially in the field of math when I was actually in school. I just never saw the practical application until I was much older than <laughs> I saw the practical applications. I do all right, though. Alrighty, well, if we're only going to make 90 beer, I guess we can use our... I don't really want to use my intermediate cooking utensil right now. 
Let's go into place mode here. I'm going to buy a new cooking utensil. Well, two of them, really. No, I want to... Uh, pick this up. Pick this up. It's never too late. No, it's not. But I have so many other passions I am wanting to pursue that aren't math. And frankly, I don't need to be a math wizard uh, being an entertainer. It would just, I just, uh, one of those things I look back on my life and I wish I would have tried a bit harder at my schooling. I wasn't flunking out or anything, but I just did not care for math and a few other subjects. That is true, uh, CF Preston. Okay. So we're going to sell off these used cooking uh, containers. Those weigh a lot. My inventory. How do I have 441? I guess I got 345 gold. So I got 100 in silver coins, 200 in inventory. I just don't see the 200 pounds in inventory. Whatever. And buy two cooking utensils. Cook regular cooking utensils do 100 cast or 100 cooks per utensil. Uh, we got that intermediary one that has 500. But I kind of want to save that for the right time. Yeah, potions and weaponry, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, cheers, cheers, Alex Rex. That's cool, man. That's cool. No, I don't want to cancel. I just wanted it up against the wall. Is that so much to ask? Watch out, little kitties. There we go. All right, now we're gonna hop on this cooking utensil and start making some beers. So we got five corn, one sugar, two leavening agents. What? Six mineral water. Wow, that took me way too long. But not about continuous, but if you just type in like 1,000, it'll bring you to your maximum, which is currently 90. We knew that. But if you type in a number higher than uh, higher than what you can do, uh, it'll drop it down to the number that you can, which is a nice feature. So beer is really easy to cook. It, uh, it gives you these side dishes. And we also have a chance now that we're a skilled cook to get this cool draft beer. Uh, in addition to the one to four beer that we're getting right now. You just press F to get the max. That works too. What a life, huh? I have several cooking utensils because they'll eventually run out. And I don't want to run to the store every time. Or if I, I kill one and then I want to move on to another cooking project. Uh, I usually just kind of litter the room with them until... They ran out. All right, let me check my other screen here real quick. Let's see if we got a decent capture on that dot matrix. That's definitely not the right screen. Yeah, it's not the best. Let's fix that real quick. Oh, the uh, it's a little crooked. I'm gonna go fix that. One sec.
Alright. Well, that's not quite right either. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get there. That'll do. Alrighty. Cooking level up, skilled six, baby. You know, honestly, it looks like I am two beer cooks to get one level in cooking now, which is not great. Probably have to move over to making grain soup, or I can just keep chunking out the beer. I mean, uh, we're starting to get more energy, so getting half a level in cooking for each cook isn't bad. Could be a lot worse. What has everybody in the chat that's been playing been focusing on in the game for themselves? As you can see, I've mostly focused on cooking. Most of my gathering has happened before uh, butchering meat to try to get pet food. Yes, that's true. Ted always tastes his food. He's really just pretending a pot's there and he still gets skill experience. He's just that good. Yes, making harder items yield more XP per craft for sure, Neo. Uh, the way that I believe it works, it matters how much processing went into the item. So, for example, if you make fried vegetables and it takes three dough to make that dish, uh, for having processed the dough, you're getting higher XP for the cook. So I actually think, um, well, I need to figure out how to make fried bird and steam bird, but, uh, yeah, the more processing has, processing has gone into your ingredients, the higher XP it's going to yield per cast. We have an alchemist in our guild, uh, Herpy. Well, he says it's a ton of work, but he's done it. Look at that teddy boy, making some food. Good job, Ted. Yeah, get into it. Shake that pepper. Shake that pepper, Ted. Show him who's boss. Taste that ladle. Alchemy is not a crummy path. Alchemy makes really great stuff. It's just the most time-consuming of all, uh... Of all the professions. Lots of purifying water. Yeah, Ted, that's nice. That's nice, Ted. Um, I only have level three, maybe four health now. Uh, I did not start eating food until two days ago, unfortunately. Do, 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 do. All right, what, uh, what food does in this game is it levels up your health statistic. Most foods will have a buff attached to them that lasts for half hour to 90 minutes. But by eating food, you increase your eight, max HP and MP. It says HP here, but it also increases MP um, each time you eat food and level up. Anything you eat is okay, Grey Demon. So anything you can produce easily. Grain soup's quite easy. Omelets are quite easy to make as well. Uh, Bomb Pops, highly recommend watching the Workers, Nodes, and Guides uh, guide video. But basically, you get contribution points. You buy a lodging house inside of a town. 
using your contribution points, and then you can head to the work manager or work supervisor and purchase a worker. Then any node that you have connected to the city that is a work node, you can send that worker there to collect stuff. It'll go directly into your warehouse inventory. As soon as we're done with this uh, cooking, I'll explain exactly how you set up uh, a node for workers to work in, if that'd be helpful for you. You can do it, Teddy boy. I'm glad we started now. It takes a while to cook this beer. Cook that beer, Teddy. Cook it. You know what I'm going to do with my remaining energy? I'm actually going to grind corn. I think this is a good idea. Okay, before we grind corn here, let's talk about how to set up a worker node. Okay. So we'll start. This Ophelia is the first town you're going to reach, right? So you click on the blue icon in Velia on the map. This will show the available housing. Click on the tab up here and make it... We want to say, we want lodging. So these three houses are lodging. You'd buy the room one, since you had to buy room one first. You select the lodging tab, and then you purchase it for your contribution points. You can pull out these contribution points at any time during your play. Uh, you just have to sell it. You'll receive your contribution points back. There will be uh, many types of houses. We'll go down to Heidel here real quick to show you. That will have multiple tiers. Like we head down to, God bless... Heidel. Do the same thing. We're looking for lodging. And we'll say this house up here. This one you can upgrade all the way to level 6. This will not cause more contribution points, but it will uh, cost silver and some work time. So you can upgrade a lot of stuff uh, lodging-wise. Anyways, there's several different types of houses you can, you can buy. You can buy refineries, uh, workstations. But lodging is what you need to get a worker going. So after you get your uh, your lodging, oh sorry, one second, you can hire one worker per town without a lodging, uh, usually via quest. After you've got your lodging, you need to go over to the node manager for the uh, the next node over. So we'll say Finto Farm. You run over there, you talk to the guy at the Finto Farm. You invest in the farm node, and then you'll click on the side node here, and then you'll invest contribution. It'll be this button where invest energy is. Then you can invest your contribution in there. The second that you invest your contribution into the farm, it'll bring up the tab with your workers that are available, and then you can send that worker there. And then to repeat the task, it is quite easy. When they're done with their task, you just refill their energy by uh, giving them beer, and then repeat all to have them go back out and do their work again. So the best place to start uh, in Velia is probably going to Logia Farm to get people farming potatoes. Potatoes are what you need to make beer. So when your worker pulls in potatoes, you can craft beer out of it, get them back working, and eventually you'll have more potatoes than you do beer. Uh, there's also down here to Scani Farm, which is only two nodes away from Velia that has double corn farming. Corn is also a grain you can use uh, to make beer. Um, so these are your nodes for crafting. These are the first couple nodes you want to grab, or at least this one, to get potato farming happening. That way you can continue to feed your workers and build your workforce. Uh, Valtherin, what I did is I parked all of my alts next to the work supervisor, and I churned energy to get skilled-only workers. Uh, skilled are better. And so uh, we were running promotion tests on my skilled workers, and that's how we got our professionals. I think I hired one professional, but the other ones were, uh, they took their promotion test. So uh, your total energy cap is shared between all alts, which I'll just show you right now. You might as well invest in some nodes. So we're going to switch to Bob McFay Shield here. Do, 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 do. Nice, Phantom Angels. You're actually encouraged to group in this game. You don't need to, Fantasy Freak, but you receive XP bonuses.
Hey, that's cool, though. That's cool. Okay, so here we are, bombing face shields. He has 96 out of 102. We're sharing the same cap. We also share the same nodes. So what I'm going to do right here is we're going to go over to, let's say, my mining node. I'm going to say, hey, I want to invest some energy in this node to level it up. This will increase the yield of my workers. That's what I've been spending my alt energy on, mostly. Though, uh, when we end up making the move to Calfian down here, what I'm going to do is park all of my uh, my guys next to the work supervisor. I'm going to get my amity up super high on the work supervisor, and I'm going to start getting a lot of really skilled workers. That's an easy way to spend your alts energy. Uh, it's definitely encouraged that you uh, make alts for that reason. And yes, fishing is also great cash. You don't have to do farming in this game if you don't want to. There's plenty of other uses for contribution points. But I found for leveling up cooking, it is uh, quite nice. But you, you can legit just fish and make tons of money too. Well, Neo, I mean, it has to if it's the farm node, I feel. Because there's no actual NPCs inside the farm area for the most part, so it doesn't make sense to do that, though it's possible. It is. Yes, crafting and general gathering will give you some XP on your character, for sure. Not only will it give you skill XP, profession XP, but it also gives you XP for leveling, too. Not that much, but it does uh, does contribute. Alright, so now we're going to process, I'm going to process a bunch of corn. Because I think I'm going to be making a bunch of fried vegetables next, is the next step we're going to go. So we're going to start grinding corn. This will exhaust all of our energy. Uh, I'll need to step back right before the servers down, lay down and uh, rest in my bed. Do -do -do. You know, I don't honestly know the answer to it, Neo, but that's where I've been spending my energy because I felt like it was, it should work. <laughs> if it doesn't, oh well. All right, guys, we're going to be switching over to Star Trek Next Generation Pinball. The server's going to be shutting down here in about uh, 40 minutes. We'll be grinding some corn till then. If you guys have not checked out pinball, highly encourage you to do so. I'm going to walk over, flip on the machine, and we'll start a pinball party. See you guys in just a second. Just gonna check my exposure real quick on the other, uh, on the preview. I'll be right back. continuing mission to explore strange new worlds to seek out new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no one has gone before little kitty paw prince get out of here Cool, Neo. Cool. Let's get this party started. If you're uh, new to pinball or new to this table, I'm going to post this link in chat. I will explain the basic rule set of the table. If you're looking for an in-depth tutorial for this table, I made one. The basic goal of this table is to finish the seven missions surrounding the Enterprise to start the final frontier. During your missions, you'll collect artifacts if you do well enough on the mission. Uh, at the final frontier is where you'll cash in the artifacts. 
Let's just get this party started. I'm excited to play today. That was sketchy. Sketch a roni pizza. Come on, come on back. A decent time riff there. I'm just gonna roll with this. Let's roll with it. Yeah, last week on the the mic was weird. Like it reset my uh, my gain on the microphone. All right. So on the rescue mission, uh, hitting anything on the table loads one person on the shuttle. If you load 25 people on the shuttle, you uh, co collect your artifact. You launch the shuttle by shooting the beta or alpha quadrant uh, ramps. This is the beta quadrant. The one left of the start mission is alpha. If you manage to rescue all 50 people, you get an additional 50 million points, but... Certainly nice. There we go. We have engaged the Borg. Oh! Prepare for multi ball. Can you just imagine John Luke Picard saying that, though? Sure can. Damage coming in for all decks. All right, it's going to launch the ball out of the Borg ship here pretty soon, I think. Or did it already do that? Well, apparently it did. So there's two ways to score jackpots during board multi-ball. You hit the center start mission for a single jackpot, or I just don't want to die here, man. Woo! Ha! Or you can hit the warp ramp for a 3x jackpot. There we go. We got something. Something or another. So you're down to two balls and a multi ball here. You kind of want to play a little bit safer if you can. I'm gonna hold one here so we don't lose everything at once. So that's a terrible feeling. My shields are down apparently. That's BS because I just shot through the spinner. Dr. Popkin, they probably need a flipper rebuild. The parts only last for so long at full power. Like, the bushings underneath the uh, flipper and stuff can definitely get worn down. So, weak flippers are definitely a result of the machine needing maintenance, for sure. Well, Box Boko, since crystals have a high chance of breaking when you die, uh, you might as well just... Get what you can in there. Wouldn't worry about uh, high-end crystals till the very late game. All right, we got extra ball for points there, which is nice. Do 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 do. Well, 
good thing. I'd say movement speed and cast speed are definitely good to look for. The little bonus I got from equipping the Ajarian set was <laughs> pretty nice. Oh, okay, I didn't know that, Jarhead. Thanks for clarifying that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. James, why are you sitting there? What a nice kitty. What a good kitty. Ready, James? Cowboy, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 20 consecutive months. A little flipper to you, man. Much love. Thank you, thank you. All right, we'll go wormhole here and see if we can get a quick couple points. We definitely still have a shot at... Uh, we have a shot at getting... Extra ball from points here, but not a high one. Very close to the two years indeed, Cowboy. Thank you so so much. Forever grateful, sir. Give me that. Pretty weak on artifacts so far, but we can we can fix it maybe. Do 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 do. You know, Tyogasm, I'm not sure tonight. We'll see. It was a very early morning for me today. But I will say this, we finish off most nights with pinball. And I will on occasion do a, a full pinball stream as well. I think we'll play Star Trek Vengeance next week. I was going to play Vengeance this week, but I just got my uh, launchers painted in the Borg ship and I wanted to show them off. Alright. We'll see how bad we are at the Vengeance machine after taking... Uh, <laughs> Three weeks off? All right, so we are pretty close to extra ball for beta quadrant, so I'm gonna go for that objective. Oh God. Lord have mercy. That wasn't a bad first round, but we didn't get to our final frontiers. We'll certainly do better next time, maybe. I'm going to go refill my water real quick, and we'll uh, do it up again. See you guys in just a sec. I had the exact same problem with Vigil Green. Yeah, it's completely case sensitive. All right, Asteroid Threat. The value starts at 20 million per shot. You need to hit the center shot to set the value. It'll go down to 5 million at the minimum. Of course, better if you can set that value higher because more points are better. But we didn't get there. That's okay. It's only three shots made to collect your artifact on Asteroid Threat, which is beautiful. If you hit all shots, you get a 50 million bonus, but uh, it's frankly not worth it. Woo! 
scary. Quite enough juice. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, Neo. Have a good one. I'm running a bit low on sleep these days myself. Oh, get in there. Or don't. No, don't die. Don't. Okay. Not a great ball one. We did get a mission done, so I'll take it. So search, search the Galaxy is the only mission where you can collect two artifacts in one mission. Uh, you do so by hitting the shots in the order that Commander Riker calls them out. Alpha Quadrant, Beta Quadrant, Delta Quadrant. I would call that a feed pass, uh, Netrunner. So you're passing the ball on the feed. Post pass is where you do a mini flip to bounce it off this rubber to get it over. But that's not really feasible on most wide body machines, and this is a wide body. Oh, bummerino. Fair enough, it ain't over yet. Good luck. Do 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 do. What are you doing here? Let's play a little game. You, we don't have time for your game. Now, I'm not gonna have to have it all. Good. Warp shot feels pretty on today, which is not average for me. Warp shot is definitely one of my weaker shots. Rough game, but uh, that's okay. Very reminiscent of the round I had in the pinball tournament, which was actually still a win. I got super lucky on that one. All right, we're gonna let the uh, the game load the balls where it wants them. Or oh, it's already there. Okay. Final frontier. Here we come. Darn you, machine. Darn you. I'm going to reset once. We're getting to that. Fun Bonjour, Q. Q, what are you doing here? Let's play a little game. Q, we don't have time for your game.
you say, game? Good pass. I love the sound of this machine. It's so satisfying when you hit the mission start just right. Good old Steve Ritchie. What's up, Simply Orange? How are you? was a really good nudge. Lord have mercy. We're only one warp away from extra balls, so I certainly want that warp. Yeah, so there's two variations of tilt, Taco Gasm. Um, I'll explain as soon as we get a free moment here. What a good round so far. Hurry up, I don't want to do a hurry up. Whoa, wowza. Okay, we got some control here. Nice. Okay, so regular tilt on a pinball machine. There's a metal ring inside the machine. It's, uh, it's hanging underneath. Inside that metal ring, there's a plumb bob. As you shake the machine, it moves the plumb bob back and forth. If it touches the outside of the metal ring, uh, you get one warning. You get two warnings and the machine tilts. What happens when you tilt is you lose your current ball and your end of ball bonus, and it just loads the next one. Slam tilt is different. There's a sensor on the bottom of the machine, which is just kind of just like a little metal thing with a prong on the end. And if that goes up and down too much and touches the sensor, the machine resets. That's to stop people from lifting the machine up and putting it down. Or try and do some really crazy stuff to manipulate the ball. Uh, you can also slam tilt on some machines by hitting the coin door too hard. Like, if I need the coin door right now, it would uh, slam tilt the machine as well. Okay, a couple things to note uh, on this round. We're currently at warp 7, so one more warp for extra ball. And we're also at 8x multipliers, so one more time through the rollovers and we'll light extra ball uh, as well. So, what I'm going to do here... It wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to get uh, lock three lit. Please don't. God. You got me, machine. You got me. Okay, I'm going to go light lock here. We lost our chance at the warp eight extra ball, but we're at one out of three rollovers. Um, so if I go light lock and go lock three here to get Borg multi ball started, we will more than likely get those rollovers done, which will light extra ball for me. No reason not to, really. Uh, the Borg multi-ball has a very long grace period where Return to Duty is flashing, so I can get a lot of pinballs launched up into those uh, those rollovers. It's almost a guarantee we'll get extra ball right here. Almost. No, thanks for the great question, Taco. So I let that drain on purpose, so I want to get as much action up here as I possibly can. There it is. Extra balls lit. I might get that one back. We'll see. I got it back. Nice. Yeah, the grace period on board multiball is really quite insane for how long it lasts.
try to slow this down. You never want to lose everything at once during multi ball. Fred Freddington, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 19 consecutive months. And a little flipper to you, man. Much love. Thanks, Fred. You the best. considered that was a pretty great multi ball we lost it there at the end but we got extra ball uh box loco all these sensors are not inside the pinballs it's usually either switches that just get depressed or uh optic optic sensors uh which tell it when the ball went through <laughs> it's all good fred freddington appreciate you sir i do no jinx at all man you're good 100% my fault. Jesus. So that was some pretty necessary nudging there. If I did not nudge the ball in that situation, we were going to lose it. Dear God, man. It's been a really weird round for shots at... But yeah, pinballs are just a 1 and 1 16th inch uh, steel ball bearing box Foco. Right back to board multi ball then. Okay. Hey, we're still technically on ball one, so that's good. Technically speaking. Keep starting mission. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Amazing. What's up, Jungle Jack? Unfortunately, uh, one billion on this machine is not even a great score. On most other machines, a billion would be spectacular. This one is like the king of scoring inflation. I should really be happy with the billion. When I first got the machine, I was lucky if I broke 200 billion. Hey, have a great one, Box Foco. Have as good of a time as you possibly can. So. Might not be much. Maybe there'll be something. We have engaged again, Captain. I thought we handled the board. Oops. Not often you'll see me get two board multi balls. Not often at all. Are you gonna give me that third ball or uh, no? everything at once. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. 
That works too. This will get me to my fourth artifact. Guaranteed billion points to start in the final mode if we get there. It sure is, Netrunner. It sure is. Dead Flip gave me two 3D printed uh, flippers when he came up to visit. I put one on this machine and one on the Vengeance machine. Fits quite well on both, but I don't say so myself. Please don't. Ouch! Well, we still got a decent shot to start uh, Final Frontier here. I certainly hope we will. I need to go put my person resting in Black Ops Online. Give me a sec. Yes, it is. It is left, left, right, right, left, left, immediate right, left, left, Jungle Jack, every time. All right, we're going to start mission here. Uh, we'll try for battle simulation, but if we don't succeed at battle simulation, we're going to try to waste the time on the mission just to get to the final frontier. Because one time game, one time. Dear God, we're just going to hold here. We're holding Ferengi freighter, you don't say war. You don't say. Come on now. You can do it, little laptop. You can do it. All right. Woo! We finally got there. Final Frontier, baby. So this is the main wizard mode of the table. It's definitely the highest scoring uh, mode. You get 25 million per shot for every artifact you collected, up to 250 million. It's beautiful. extra ball caps and I did that was uh, that was still a pretty decent round nothing uh, nothing shabby about it not too shabby I don't think you can sell workers, but if you go to the work supervisor, you can get a uh, Mishmira. 
All right, everybody, that's going to do it for me today. I had an absolutely wonderful time tonight. I look forward to coming back and doing it again tomorrow. I just can't tell you guys how much I've been enjoying Black Desert Online, and always a pleasure to share Kimmel with you. I'm going to be hosting Mr. Alaskan Savage. Love that dude's content. Really a pleasure to meet him at TwitchCon, and uh, hope you enjoy it as well. Until next time, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for tonight. Frag out. You're all wonderful. Much love.